Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have a very special, special, special guest. Mr. Chad Caruso is with us. How are you, dude? Doing good. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Sorry to make you skate all the way back from <laughs> the East Coast to here just to come on, but that was, I said, listen, you got to skate back. If we're gonna do this, yeah, I want to you a round trip. <laughs> yeah, no way, I'm doing that again. <laughs> oh my gosh, once is enough. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. No, we got to talk. We have so much to unpack with tra skate li skating cross country, three thousand miles, two months. Yep. Re Re fifty-seven days. Yep. <laughs> fifty-seven days, <laughs> just under. Yeah. Two months. <laughs> Literally, like what? Fifty something, fifty-five miles a day. Um. Uh, yeah, something like that. That was the average. Okay. I made sure my goal was like 50 every single day. 50 every day. and then, But you would have to schedule. You have to, have to like, there's got to be a hotel at the end of that. So yeah. it could be 57, 60. It could be whatever. Yeah, I'd wake up, open Google Maps and be like, okay, I'm skating 80 miles today. That's where the closest wow. hotel is. No, you had it. Come on, <laughs> yeah. man. You had, you, you had it more planned out than I had, that. I mean, I did, but I didn't know where the hotels were at all. You wait, know, wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait. How do you <laughs> yeah. not know? I had like a route planned out, but I didn't know where I was staying. Oh my. You just, I would think yes, that that's one no. of the most important <laughs> things. It is, no. but you can figure it out if you have like a, a route. I, I grazed. Yeah. If you're, you, have you ever been through like the desert and everything I mean, but, and like <laughs> the, the next stop is 400 miles away? Well, that's like, different. Damn. I mean, you have to probably definitely plan better than 400 miles in between. Right. I mean, I, sure. I grazed <laughs> over the map and I was like. All right, there's basically a hotel every 80 miles, 100 miles. I'll figure it out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> Wait, what was the longest you skated in one day? Uh, 80 miles. Oh, that was it. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. And that's because you had to find the hotel. Yeah. See? Yeah. You should have had me yeah, on the yeah. team. I could have yeah. planned this whole thing out. Listen, there's a Ritz Carlton right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But that was the only one time where you had to, like, no, I skated another time, journey. 80 okay. miles one more time. Okay. And, um, that was, I was just kind of in the zone at right. that point. I didn't even want to stop because I felt really? good. It was like making good time. Yeah. So That's I just kept dope. it going. But you are no, you're not a stranger to um, all this state traveling, skateboard, YouTube stuff because uh, you've done other challenges. The other biggest one was the 50, 50 states, 50 tricks yep. in 50 days. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I daily vlogged the whole but time. But you too. drove. Yeah, That's, I drove. And you flew a road, couple. Yeah. You flew yeah. to... <laughs> wow. Yeah, Wait. and then day 49, I yeah flew to Alaska, and then day 50 to Hawaii. To Hawaii, right. right, right, right. right. Yeah. Did you end that trip with like, the vacation in Hawaii? Uh, <laughs> actually, it was funny. My girlfriend at the time was like, you need to stay a couple of days. Because I was looking to just book my trip like right back home. Yeah. She's like, just relax, please. At least <laughs> towards the end of the trip there. Geez. Yeah. But now, where are you coming up with these ideas, man? Um... The first one was way back when I started my YouTube channel, okay. and that was just new trick every day for a month. So that was just something seems like, easy enough, right? Something mm -hmm. to pass the time. It was fun. Um, it was really challenging though in the beginning because I never daily vlog, so I had to like figure all that out and stuff. Um, so then it just evolved from there. You said that was like five or six years ago. Yeah, about maybe yeah six years ago. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so you just turned the camera on did the little vlog and were you at the same skate park and stuff like that yeah yeah my, okay. my hometown park i would just like skate over there show up every day skate come after work be like just gotta work i got like 50 minutes to learn a trick you know <laughs> wow. so, were you, yeah. for the 30 days where do yeah. you have 30 tricks planned out for the whole month already so this is my like first time going through this <laughs> so i wrote a couple of tricks out but you ended up just like not following mm, right. that you know as you're in it I mean, skateboarding is so funny because you could be feeling backside yeah. one day or front side. Or, yeah. Or you're messing around with another trick and like, oh, I, I think I could do this one, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's almost like whatever's yeah. working that day. Yeah. yeah. Now, we both know that YouTube is kind of an, it's an interesting place. It's hard. It's a grind, right? It's, it's tough to even get any traction. Now, were you getting traction? Um, like, uh, I mean... Depends who you ask. Because like, sometimes it's yeah. like, hey, I'm not getting it. Let me let me ramp this up. I did 50 tricks. Yeah. Mm, what if I there's what if I do 50 states? I mean, mm. I wasn't even thinking about the views. Okay. At all, I was just. It's like, what else could I do that's that fun? Like mm -hmm. challenge myself even more. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. So it took like a year, maybe two in between, and then once that idea came in, I was laying in bed next to my girlfriend. I was like, I think that's possible. And then mm -hmm. once I started like planning everything out and stuff. I was like, I'm doing it. 
Right. Amazing. By the way, congratulations. You just proposed to yes, his that. girlfriend, yeah. now fiance, on this trip here to California. Amazing. Yeah. Congrats. congrats. Yeah, it was completely, That's honestly, congrats. spontaneous. I bought the ring the day before I left for the trip. <laughs> oh, <my Yeah>. God. <laughs> Does she know this or she knows this now? She knows. She okay. knows now. I mean, she knows now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So sick. <laughs> okay. So we started the YouTube venture uh, with, the, with, the, with the 50 tricks. Now, 30 tricks, right? Was it 30 tricks? Oh, 30 I'm sorry, days? 30 tricks. Well, yeah, 30 the first days. one was new trick every day for a month. Second mm-hmm. one was 50 tricks, 50 states. Was this starting of sobriety for you as well? So I start when I first got sober, mm-hmm. that's when I started YouTube because okay. I needed something to do, something to focus on. Mm. So I got like really back into skating and just like, all right, I'm going to try YouTube and just document what I'm doing. Now, you weren't, you, did you fall off of skating for a while while you were... I mean, I always skated, mm-hmm. but... You know, I was just more in the drinking scene, kind of talking about it. Skate once in a while. <laughs> talking you know about I mean? it. Yeah, talking yeah. about yeah. it. We do a lot of talking about it here. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Go to the bar and just like, yeah. Yeah, we talk Old about what we're going to do. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So what brought on the uh, the sobriety? Uh, so I got two DWIs within a span of three years. Okay. So That's pretty that, bad. That, yeah, that, that, that's that, pretty that, bad. Yeah. So I was in like $10,000 of debt. Had to borrow money from people to pay lawyers and stuff. Was mm-hmm. facing jail time. Oh, jeez. And once my like, I didn't care about what I was doing to myself. But once I started affecting the people around me, I was like, All right, I gotta That's stop. That's when you yeah. okay. Yeah. It's logical. But then, then it bit. I'm sure then it turned into for yourself because it has to be at the end of the day. Like you heard, you're hurting all these people around you. But then you got to do a lot of work on yourself. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. So that YouTube channel helped. Hundred percent, yeah. Because you're like just staring at. I'm sure you guys know. You're just staring at yourself every day, seeing like how you stutter, the way you, like all your flaws, basically. For so sure, it, for it sure. was a good learning experience. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that helped. And um, did you talk about any of your sobriety stuff like on your channel, or was it just strictly like, um, hey, I'm just gonna skate and put this out there? In the beginning, it was definitely more skate oriented. Maybe here and there, I'd throw something in. Right. But yeah, it was basically just skate. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, congrats on that. What's in yeah, now? Five you. or six years now? Um, coming up on seven. Seven. Getting yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats. It's yeah, almost you. how long we've been around thank here. <laughs> I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Should we share her birthdays almost? There you go. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Yeah. So now you're you're going into the 50, 50 tricks, fifty states, fifty days. Now you're making a list of. I mean, you're, you must be researching obviously what skate parks there are. Yeah. What, what's the route? What's the quickest route through the United States? Now I took a look at a map, right, mm-hmm. and I typed in what what what's the quickest way to hit all fifty states. Okay. I don't remember the exact terminology I used, yeah. but it's like a. It, it was like a round trip. It, it was like a. But I'm wondering how you did that because you were, you, you went. It seemed like from the east coast to the west coast. Yeah. I basically did what you did. I went to Google first thing. I was like, what's the fastest way to drive across the country in every state? It's a loop. And one of the maps I saw was, because I'm on the East Coast, uh-huh. so it was starting in Maine, and it like went up and down. Uh, across. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see and that so map. I That's saw, what makes sense of the right, way you win, yeah. Because right. I'm on the East. You're probably looking from the yeah. West thinking, yeah. you know. But I my mindset was... Well, I saw two yeah. maps. One of them was like a, you hit um, all the parks, you know, and then mm-hmm. another one, it was just like the quickest way around to hit all 50 states. Right. Yeah. So I found the map that was like closest to where I would start in the east. And along that route, looked up the closest skate park. So I just broke out a notebook and mm-hmm. would just be like, write down every single skate park in every state, which ones I want to hit, how far the distance is. So I'm like, all right, this one's four hours. The next day, this one's five. Mm-hmm. Can I edit a video? In all this time and learn a trick, you know, and I would just compute every single day and be like, okay, I think that's possible. Because that's another thing, too, is you're editing a video at night when you get done with all this stuff. Yep. Even on the the, the trip across across America. Yeah. So it's not like you have too much downtime. (laughs) Zero downtime. Okay, so at (laughs) least you got a little bit of training, right, with the 50 states thing. How? What was the hardest part about that? Yeah. Um... I'd say the editing. Every that time, even with the Skate Across America too, it's like keeping up with the vlog. You know, yeah. you do all this work all day oh. and you're used to skating, learning a trick. Like I've been doing that my whole life. But it's like trying to edit a video while you're super tired. Yeah. Right. You know, I only get it up, that, uploaded, sure. make sure there's no errors or anything. Especially if that's the out. mission. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then get out the next day. And, this is you know. the map I saw. Was this similar? Is what, see, it's a no. round trip. That's a map I looked up. Yeah, mine was a little different. Hmm. Just went down and like kind of 
went up and down across the states okay. basically yeah. okay mm-hmm. and, but you you timed it out also because you wanted to hit it in 50 days yeah stay mm-hmm. day. yeah otherwise what's the point i'm going to do 50 mm-hmm. tricks in 50 states in 102 yeah. days right you need know, that restriction no. to make it <clears throat> yeah it's not a good ring to that yeah. <laughs> uh, did you like google <laughs> did you google the skate parks and everything of what they had there to skate yeah and yeah so, and some they were just nothing you yeah know? you just gotta make it work as long as it's yeah. a quarter pipe i think you're good right exactly yeah <laughs> and let's also say too you it wasn't like you were just going to a skate park and doing a kick flip or a 360 flip you're going to a skate park and learning a new trick yeah so it had to be a trick that you haven't done before right that was kind of the the caveat yeah because I, I wanted to be exciting for myself like push myself and like right. i don't know how fun is that just be like Rock fakey, do yeah. a trick here. Like, yeah. you know, I wanted yeah. to make sure I was learning something new. <laughs> rock yeah. I got, did it. Rock. got it. <laughs> we go, we go. Yeah, so yeah. I wanted, and not even just a new trick. I wanted it to be a trick I was like psyched on learning. Yeah. Sure. You know? Sure. What was the hardest trick to do? Uh, I'd say day 50. The, the, okay. the last day yeah, was yeah. a Nolly bigger spin to front 5 0 fakey. Oh, that yeah. was in Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. It looked like a really like out of shape ramp too yeah it was like the plywood's like yeah. bouncing as it's coming up it, yeah. yeah man but how did it work how did that feel dude at the end of that just to land that trick finally i mean this is the hawaii mm. one by the way yeah it was unreal yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the relief you know yeah after all that work we're gonna fast forward a little mm-hmm. bit here oh he's getting a nice little meal and everything so this is always a, a part of it too it's the journey as well it's yeah, not just <clears> like hey a skate park let me do the thing i mean you're eating a nice what is that? Like a beef? It looks uh, like, a, uh, like a beef. Grilled fish. fish. Yeah. Grilled yeah. fish. Yeah. Looks delicious, mm-hmm. man. Oh, the food out in Hawaii is so bomb. So yeah. bomb. Yep. And you you got a you're moving a trash can. <laughs> That's what my you, filmer. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 you brought good thing you brought your filmer. Yeah. So then you try the trick. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Did the other skaters there, or there was a biker there too, did they understand what you were doing and finishing uh, up at this point? Sometimes people ask, and they're like interested, and sometimes they just don't care, and like kids will just be going back and forth, and I'm like, I only got like an hour left, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude, you're trying a hard <laughs> trick, and you're like, yeah. yeah, if I don't do this, this whole thing isn't, it's yeah. pointless. And well, this is the last yeah, day, yeah, too, yeah. like, let me live, guys. Mm-hmm. I noticed that too, kind of on the skate across America. Like some people that you would talk to, they're like, "Oh, what are you doing? You're skating across America? Oh, cool, awesome." <laughs> yeah. And other people yeah. are like, "No way!" Like, yeah. I realize sometimes with those people, like they don't even process it. Like they don't even fully think maybe you're just skating around, hitting skate parks. They don't even fully grasp like they're right. pushing across the whole country. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so here you're exhausted. Obviously, look at you. Mm-hmm. Oh, that shirt looking like ripped on the sides. I left my bag in um, in Seattle uh-huh. just so I could travel light. So I just had nothing with me. Oh, just wow. like yeah, just one ripped shirt. Like that. Was yeah, it. but I mean, like you're in a car, <laughs> right? So oh wait, no, this like one here. you had to fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, I was true, just not true, true, true. And what was it? You left your ID in Seattle or something? Yeah. And they yeah. let you fly twice like that? Two times back to back, no ID. What is what? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's going sometimes on? I'm in those situations, I could sometimes just like push through and like I don't know. Listen, every day I yeah. slap my ass. I got my wallet there. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, got my wallet. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Hey, yeah. to be honest though, that made it for a more climatic, like climatic, whatever you want to call it, yeah. like uh, ending. Or yeah, like a lot of times, like when I do these vlogs, mm-hmm. people think like, how do you deal with all this stuff? But I shifted my mindset to be like, just making the video funnier. Right. Yeah. So I didn't get stressed True. out. I'm just like, yeah, it's sure. part of it, you know. True. The experience. This is gonna make good content, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, now I'm curious. Wait, when you were flying back, what did they say? Did they say like, what, you don't have your ID? Where, where is it at? Yeah. Um. So I left it. The guy of a subscriber gave me a ride to the airport, and I left my car, changed my pants, and I left it in my, you know, pants. Oh wow. Oh. So got to the airport. Um. So no credit yeah. cards, no money, no nothing. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is just a. Subs- no. Yeah. No credit cards. Jeez. This is a subscriber. Yeah. Yeah. And you're just leaving your clothes in, in some random... <laughs> Wait, did you mean to leave your clothes I know there? I left my car at his house. Oh. Yeah, so he okay. drove me to the airport so I could leave gotcha. it somewhere safe. Okay, yeah. gotcha. I thought you were like changing <laughs> in... I'm picturing you changing in the subscriber's car. <laughs> and you leave, you're on the way to the airport and you're like... And that, no, you, you just want leave pants? the pants in there. Yeah. Like, Fuck, I left my wallet. Yeah. But uh, no, it's cool, man. Did you, so did you get a lot of... Um, I'm sure you got a lot of subscribers, a lot of fans throughout all this too. About yeah. 50, 50 states and 50 tricks. I mean, 50 days. I think like maybe 10,000 10, or something like that over the course of the two months. So. Okay. That's amazing. Dude, um, that was a good trick right there. 
Look at that. I've never seen that done ever. Whew. Me either. Yeah. That's, 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 that's why I picked yes, that trick, yes. though, because I wanted something like to end with, like I like never saw. I was really psyched on it, yes. you know? That's so good. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure someone's done it, but yeah. I was just it's like. It's like every trick, bro. Yeah. It's like you think you've like, right. come Everyone's. up with it, and like, dude, sure enough, someone's done it. For sure. I didn't film it, though. I didn't film it. Yeah. And not with this video, but I'm sure the Skate Across America, you got a lot of people who think you didn't skate, and you just, you, like, you. Maybe you were a skater, but you just pushed and you weren't really like, but you fucking rip. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I'm not yeah, great, but I've been skating for a long time. I mean, right? let's yeah. play I mean, the... You're doing NBDs, dude. I mean, that, that's, that's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> this is the part you yeah. just came out with recently, what, a year ago, you said? Yeah, last year, yeah. Uh, while I'm here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you kill it, man. Thank you. Not to mention all the 50 tricks and 50 say you had a, a montage of all that stuff, too. You put that together. It's amazing. Super it's good rad. stuff. So while this is playing, did you, um, what is your, what is your like girlfriend or you know, now fiance? Mm -hmm. What is she like? Well, uh, got another harebrained, <laughs> harebrained scheme. What is, yeah. Uh, well, she's you, actually known me since we were kids. So I think she's like par for the course. Like she's used <laughs> to it, you know, but, uh, okay. you know, I've had other girlfriends get frustrated by my trips or like, you know, I was always hundred percent focused on skating mm -hmm. so i had girlfriends come and go like i wouldn't waver from skating like ever right. that was my life's like mission still is mm -hmm. so if you're not down with that like yeah it's, it's, so i got waver, to that yeah, point yeah. like what are you doing with this skateboard yeah exactly right, right. well they want to see you know we build like a life or a career out of it and right you know well which is interesting because like i mean were you ever sponsored like um only like bro flow you know bro like, flow, yeah okay. dickies you know, hooked up from the you friend. Know, Joe, like face. Joe Face. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, for sure. Um, Chapman. I've been riding for them for years. They okay. just hooked me up. Gotcha. Um, that's really it. Well, yeah. that that's an interesting thing Adidas. because like for the girlfriends, right? They're thinking to themselves like, cool, well, he's not pro. He's not getting paid. He's yeah. not traveling on his, you know what I mean? Like there has to be, but, but, but again, it's your like life's passion. And so they have to be down with it. 100%. It's an yeah. interesting thing, right? Because it's like you... Yeah. And it's, I mean, it, nothing's right or wrong, like which way, but just that's the way I'm going. So if it doesn't work, you know, right. but I understand their point of view where they want security, safety, but... For sure. Yeah. Or yeah. just a job. For starters, just a job. Just a job. Yeah. No, but seriously though, I mean... Um, but yeah, so this, it seems like YouTube might be creating some sort of like income mm. to a degree, right? I mean, whether it's small, but it's, you know, obviously created by the passion. So it's, you know, yeah, um, to some degree, like the 50 states, I didn't really make too much. Mm -hmm. Now, this one got a little more views, so I did a little better. But sure. if you're not uploading every day, it like right. could quickly drop back down. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not consistency. Not, yeah. yeah. That's the thing with the YouTube is uh, the consistency of it. Like we were talking about before the show, like Dan Corrigan uploads every single day right. for his consistency. Yep. And that seems to work for him. Like whatever that, plus he's skating all the time, but also the monetary factor from probably uploading every day is like the perfect amount for him. Totally. You know? That seems like a lot of pressure, to be honest, to, to constantly be coming up with content like that, whether you think it's good or not. You know what I mean? Sure. I think it's, yeah. kudos to him. Well, sometimes, <laughs> you know, you forget like other people that are watching skating, they think, something is good that you don't think like you right. yeah you know? so everyone has a different perspective so, totally you know. sure sure so how did the 50 states and 50 did you um like it was it fun that's why you wanted to do like something else now um yeah i just enjoy a challenge really so mm -hmm. i was mm -hmm. sitting around i think it was four years since the 50 states pause Pause podcast. Okay. I need to tell you guys that this episode is brought to us by Athletic Greens. Ooh, we love Athletic Greens. We do. This is gold in a box, right? Love this stuff. <laughs> With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and Kelly's favorite thing in the whole world, aptogens. I love there aptogens. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system. Your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. Well, not only that. Ooh, tell me, Drone. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything while still tasting good. Nothing budget, only nothing, buttery, right? Nothing budget, please. Yeah, yeah. But it also supports better sleep quality and recovery as well. Tons of people take multivitamins, but mm. it's important that you choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. And it's also better when you, you know, uh, not to have a full medicine cabinet full of, you know, supplements. Oh, man. 
You know, wait, so I can get rid of all my supplements? Yeah, I was just over at Kelly's house the other day, opened the cup, I was hit with supplements. Get the trash can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in there. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is just visit athleticgreens.com slash nine club. That's N-I-N-E-C-L-U-B. Again, athleticgreens.com slash nine club. Take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance today, there which is. is Athletic Greens. <laughs> Take over your health now. It's and you were by true. yourself too, right? Yeah. You had no company, which here you had no company of skating across America. Yep, completely it's solo. Be, yeah. Were you pretty somebody much- to enjoy it with? I mean, I enjoy the introspection and like learning about myself. For sure. And also, when you travel alone, it's a lot easier to meet people and like get into funny situations mm, and like lends yourself to you know funny interactions. Yeah, because you don't have no yeah. reservations for anybody else. It's all about you. Right. If you're with friends, yeah, you're just like. Yeah. Yeah, you know, no one's bothering you and your crowd hanging out. Right. But if you're by yourself, you're a little more like open to, to like, hey, yeah. what, what's going on after this? Exactly. <laughs> so I'm not, yeah. <clears throat> Did you adventure. stay a lot of people's yeah. places based off your, uh, your route? Or I could people? have. Yeah. But just with all the editing and everything I had to do every day, I just was like, all right, I'm going to stay in my hotel, yeah. focus on what I'm doing. And you need you know, your own space yeah. so you could kind of make it come together. Right. Because yeah. I'm sure people want to hang out and talk and, you know. Yeah. dinner and stuff and sure. i just have to be like locked in yeah, you know? yeah. well that's it that's it's that's funny too because there's so many times when you're out skating and like just people just talk to you and yeah. while you're skating mm-hmm. and oh, you're yeah. like but you're on a mission you're like dude i can't <laughs> uh, yeah. i don't have time to yeah. talk to you right the second yeah. <laughs> sun's going down i gotta get this trick <laughs> yeah. i gotta move on yeah if you um, want to chat grab a board and come along a little Skate a mile or two or something. Right, right. <laughs> Did you ever skate, everyone skate with yeah. you? Yeah. One, one guy skated like five miles. Uh, a couple people skated like a mile. He got off and just walked yeah. back to his car? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he skated all the way back and it was like uphill too. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get into this because I have a, there, there was a couple of videos that I saw that I was like, wow, this would annoy me at this moment, right? At, t- right at this time, this person coming up to me and like talking. But, uh, but we'll save that for, for the, the, the trip. What a, um, I was gonna ask something like, what, what's like a budget look like money-wise for a trip like for 50 states? Yeah, uh, let's see. I think that one was somewhere between 10 and like 15,000. Really? Yeah, and I was completely broke, <laughs> dead broke. I had no money at all. This was just like a passion thing. So I committed to doing this with no money and started a GoFundMe. Okay. Wow. No money at all. So I was like going to make it work if I had no money or not. So Were you yeah. just advertising on your social media? Like, hey yeah, guys, I'm I doing had, this. Yeah, I'm much smaller following too. So you How, know, did you get, yeah, did you get yeah. up there? Did you get the... Eventually, yeah, I got to like 9,000 or something. So okay. Yeah, okay. I, co- I covered the trip. Amazing. Yeah, it was like two months and then driving back. Wow. So like two and a half months, three months. Damn, I forgot you had to drive all the way back. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dude. Just, there was some clip of some dude just giving you a hundred bucks on yeah. the street. I was like, what, dude? Yeah. Yeah, it was one of the best moments of the trip. He <laughs> donated live donation, a hundred dollars. <laughs> live yeah. live wow. donation. Yeah. <laughs> Did he know or you told him in the moment? Uh, I was just explaining what I was doing. He was oh, like wow. curious and he was just, I don't know, I was like blown away by it. And he's like, here. Oh, he didn't even know bucks. what yeah, you were seven, doing. No, no not right then. He Wait, is just, this on the co- cross country or the 50 states? This was the 50 states. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. But it also happened on the cross country, too. Somebody else so, gave you some money, yeah. too. A <laughs> couple people, yeah. That's so rad. I know people had to give you water. Definitely, yeah. In the <laughs> desert, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need water, please. But um, so we complete. Was there any tricks that you had to switch midway through the 50 states, 50 tricks? All the time. Really? Yeah. You were just like, this isn't working. I got to do another trick. Yeah, I'm pretty stubborn too. So I was just like two hours in, but like, mm-hmm. All right, I have to, I have to try something else. I'm not going to finish the video. Right. right. You know? <laughs> what was one of the bigger tricks that you had to change? Like, did you set your goal too uh, high? Maybe um, like this trick, I can't I do a backflip to five Oh to like 50, yeah. 50 <laughs> flip out. <laughs> I think day 49, Alaska, and it kind of like made it harder too because it was like getting close to the end. Mm. I also had to catch a flight, so it was a lot of pressure. Mm. Uh, I was trying Nolly uh, heel back tail on a quarter pipe. Uh-huh. Hold on, rush. And that was uh, not working out. Mm. No. <laughs> no. So I had to switch. Yeah. You had to switch it up. Mm-hmm. And then so you made a montage of that all your tricks good, after, uh, which is like a little mini video part, man, yeah. to be yeah. honest with you. That was the, ra- I was like, that is the randomest trick I've seen. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Barry Hill, fucking disaster. Yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
That's when you know you're running out of ideas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That was like that was like state five. I know. Right? <laughs> Is there any point in time where you're just you're in the middle of this, like fifty states, fifty tricks, and you're just like, what am I doing? Like I could just I could just turn around and go home right now. Never. Yeah, no, you're too. Never, well, you're also putting out videos yeah. too. That right. it's like and your subscribers would be like, oh damn, he just turned around. Yeah. Home. yeah, you get the support, like everyone's following and stuff. It gives you a little more energy and yeah. hype, you know? Okay. Wait, so you're asking but, people that are there, like sometimes, hey, can you get, I'll bar I'll me film? up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like I'll film them, we'll be skating and stuff, and then I'll ask them. But mm -hmm. a lot of times I just use my tripod because it's just like, Easy. I can't ask someone to film for like two hours. Sure, yeah. sure. But I'm mm. sure there was there was places you, you got to stay with, uh, with people. Or you just no, you I think said it was you, hotels the whole you time, too. That, you, yeah. you just wanted a hotel. Um, the guy where I left my car and my wallet mm -hmm. um, in Seattle, that subscriber, I stayed at his house that night. And they how took did me you, down there and stuff. And, how did you yeah. get in contact with him? I think he just messaged me on Instagram. Said, hey, so, you're yeah, coming to Seattle. Yep. Yeah, I was posting my route like okay. every day where I was going to, like what city I was going to be stopping in. And God, people were reaching out. That seems and, super dope. Sketchy. It does to be to a degree. Yeah. yeah. In the beginning, yeah. I thought yeah. it was sketchy. And then as I went, like, and same with the skate across America, nothing happens. Like, yeah, because yeah. you always hear, you know, it's like social media. You, for me, I mean, I think about it all the time. You don't know who's out there. You don't know who's following you. Who's can be obsessive with you, True. and like you're coming close to them. And I mean, people are known to drive 400 miles to to meet up with somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it was definitely a thought that crossed my mind, but I don't know. Everyone just kept telling me like. Post, let us know where you are. They want to meet up. So I just okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. ended up working out. So it would turn out to, oh, there's some flat ground. Was it raining this day yeah, or something? Uh, yeah, it was raining this day. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm sticking to the to make yeah. it work. That was gnarly, too. Wait, what was that little trick? Let's see that again. Was it switch body varial kickflip? I think some Reaver? people call it a grape Ooh. flip. I, I don't know. Grape okay. flip. That's what I've heard. I don't know. Interesting. But like it's a switch front side flip yeah. with an extra Yeah, turn it's an extra body. body. But are you yeah. just thinking yeah. that up? Are you calling friends too? And like, hey, dude, I got this. Oh, I don't know what to do anymore. All the way around. They'd call me and like request a trip. Do this. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But what was the easiest one to do, you think? Um, That's a good question. I think it would be one that you wouldn't mm. expect. Like I thought it would be harder. Mm -hmm. And then... Just like pull it out. You know, yeah. It's usually the easy ones that you think, oh, I'm going to make this day easy. Like mm -hmm. that end up you know, wait, end so up you, harder. Wait, you, in one of these clips, there's like a kickflip nose manual. Yeah. Is that, is that you don't do manuals too often? I n basically never do manuals. <laughs> so my, yeah, my friend Nick Sasa called. I, have a, I think it was in the video. Like, uh, yeah, I was talking to him on the phone and he's like, you got to do a kickflip nose manual. So. That was that hard to do? Was yeah. it hard to learn? That was one of the hardest That's tricks, what I was wondering. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was it was off a a bump right bump to manual? No, it was flat. Flat. Yeah. Flat, flat ground. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. The bump would have been easier. Yeah. <laughs> what about was it uh, other than the flat ground trick? Yeah, there was no street spots, huh? No. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about that in the beginning, but with getting kicked out and like skating on weekdays yeah. and stuff, it just becomes like so much on the time mm, schedule. Yeah. You no, know, it would have been cool and that could be a different project, but it was just, that. you know, there you, you go. have that extra yeah. layer to think Next about. project. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but you basically, if you did that, you'd film a video part. Yeah. If you, yeah. If you, yeah. if you did it 50 states, 50, 50 tricks. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, you could film For a video days. part in 50 days. Yeah. <laughs> Try. Yeah. I mean, what, how long I mean, is it's this? A little, it's a little different. Cause if you're jumping downstairs, it might be a little harder to recover, yeah. you know? Listen, I'm not, Wait, not first try. Try. Yeah, first try, dude. Yeah, we're not jumping down. We're not jumping down any stairs yeah. here. You give me some street tranny every day. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you just need Joe face to come film you. That's true. He's pretty good at building spots. Too, there you go. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Joe, I got this idea, man. 50 days, 50 <laughs> 50 tricks. Yeah. yeah Dick part. Let's go. Dickie mm -hmm. sponsors it. Perfect. There you go. Yeah. Joe could cement 50 jersey barriers in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Was Joe Face one of your uh, childhood friends? Grew yeah. up with and everything? Yep. He's, yeah. He's had big, big su success. Team yeah. managers. He's uh, doing Dickies right now. Mm -hmm. He's great. Yeah. We Trans World video, by the way. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We grew up skating together, making you know full length videos and stuff. And it's actually kind of funny. All the people that we ever skated with, like nobody ever like made it in skating except all the filmers. Mm. So oh, it was yeah. like James Buckman, Joe Face, Spanish Buckman. Mike. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Kind of Spanish funny. Mike. Yeah. yeah. What a crowd. Huh? <laughs> Joe Face, <That's> <laughs> Buckman, yeah, yeah. Spanish Mike, <laughs> yeah, what yeah. A crowd. and Chad Caruso. Yeah, yeah. It was fun <laughs> times. Squad, so. Dude. so rad. I love yeah. that. So, okay. 50 states, 
50 tricks, 50 days. Eh, okay, pretty good. <laughs> it's a good one, right? That's pretty yeah, drive sad, around. You know. It's insane. To learn 50 tricks? <laughs> okay, but we're moving. 50 tricks? Think about three, pushing 3,000 miles. Uh, it, both I'd rather drive. To, I'd rather drive to every state and do a trick. That's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I well, think that yeah. goes without being said. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. I don't know, dude. There's some nutcases out there like like <laughs> that, Chad that wants that's, to skate. That's, that's, this is true. Yeah, a lot of people think that the 50 states was harder, but... What? Uh, yeah. How? I don't know. That's not even a thought in my mind. That would be yeah. way easier. A lot of people, actually, yeah. Yeah, no. Seriously? Yeah. It's hard to compare the two, to be honest. It is. It, it, it's, it like, is. it's like, yeah, two different things, really. Yeah, yeah, but. for sure. I mean, you got to mentally prepare for both, obviously. Mm -hmm. But the physical aspect of pushing across country is just unbelievable and not knowing how your body is going to really feel every day 100 here's, here's the thing yeah. dubs this is what i'm thinking about right now too a lot of people haven't even seen our country right maybe they haven't even left their state like we've been cross country yeah. we know how it is to be driving hours and hours and hours stopping at a local gas mm -hmm. station there's nothing around for, for 40 miles, yet somebody works there. Mm -hmm, and you're like, yeah. where does this person even come from? Does he stay here? Does he sleep here? Does he own this place? Like, it's, it's insane in the middle of America. It's gnarly. So just the fact that we've seen mm -hmm. this makes it way harder, in my opinion, to, to skate across. Right. Let alone yeah. just drive across sucks. Yeah, it's definitely, it's, in, in my opinion, it's more of a risk, like skating across America, because you got... Like, you could die basically every day, whether it's a car, you're mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere, like no yeah. water. It's a lot different than just being in the car hitting skate parks. You know? Now, yeah, when, sure. you, when you told your girlfriend this mm -hmm. idea, how was the reaction? Because this is crazy. Like, let's be honest. So what you just said, you could die almost every day. Like, we don't know who's out there. You're alone. There's no chase car. There's no homie. Joe Monteleone is not there with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Spanish Mike is not there. Yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah, a bunch of people were trying to convince me not to do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Including your girlfriend, or was she just like, yeah, you could go No, ahead she and... actually, she was supportive, but she was super worried. Mm. Yeah. Mace, knife, did you have any type of protection? Yeah, I brought mace. Okay. I didn't bring a knife. Um, I probably should have, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, brought the mace, never used it. No? Yeah. You had no crazy, like, altercation or anything? I, I got chased by a coyote. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. But That's I, kind I of outskated them. Yeah. So. You outskated yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. But the coyotes That's aren't really sassy. that. You could, you could probably could have kicked it. You never know. They, people uh, were telling me that if it was a pack <laughs> of coyotes, it's different. You know? Or if they're cornered. Yeah. yeah. Right. So uh, dogs are the main problem. Uh, I noticed you chase, you chased a lot of cows yes. on the trip. Yeah, yeah. Cows were <laughs> yeah. the, now, did you just figure that out? You would skate by and you would yell at these cows and all of a sudden they'd be chasing you. Yeah. I mean, they're in their little yeah. area. They follow mm -hmm. you. Yeah. But they're following you. <laughs> yeah. It was just random and just. You know, just completely bored out there, you yeah, know, yeah. just passing by, like, and these cows just start staring at you. So, talk back to them, and they just started following me for like miles. They're like, what's <laughs> happening? Like, hurting along with me. This is not normal for them. They're like, we got some amusement <laughs> right. today. The guy comes out, <laughs> where are my cows at? Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's, 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 un let's, let's dive into this. Let's dive into this. So, you have this idea skate across America in 3,000 miles. No time limit, right? You just wanted to do about 50 miles a day, or you wanted well, to do a two month. The Jackalope yeah. Fest was yeah, that your was end point. Kind of the time limit was the Jackalope Fest. Also, I had a wedding to make in Italy, <laughs> which was at the 60 like two day point. Oh, okay, something like that. So or 61. Yeah, I was like very close. So okay, so 60 there, was my goal. Yeah, got you. <laughs> now, how how does one prepare for this? Not only like physically, because. I don't think it's a good idea for anybody to just jump on their skateboard and start pushing. Like you're going to be f pretty damaged at the end of that. Mm -hmm. Like you, you cannot skate 50 miles without something going wrong in your body, tendon snapping, <laughs> muscle cramp, like whatever yeah. the case may be. So how did, how do you start like mentally and physically preparing? Um, so I started about two years ago. Okay. And I was just kind of Googling stuff, like looking up if anyone's done it, if um, what kind of boards to use wheels. Cause I never really, even had a cruiser before. So mm -hmm. I was still like learning all this stuff. There was a, a couple yeah. people that have done it before. Yeah. Uh, one in the seventies, was it? What? Yeah. So uh, Jack Smith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, I'm good friends with him. He messaged me like the whole time throughout. <laughs> he was psyched. Yeah. yeah. So really? he told me he did it. Um, what's it like tandem or like relay with three people. 
that time and in a the chase 70s. car. Yeah, right. Mm. So he didn't like fully skate the full distance, but yeah, he's he was a part pioneer. Of the team. Like he he started mm. it right. Know? And then there was a guy, uh, Rob Dyer, who skated from Toronto to L.A. I didn't hear about him. You didn't hear about no. him? Okay, cool he did though. it. Yeah. He his also was for a cause uh, for cancer. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Uh, skate for, skate for cancer. That was his uh, hmm. little little tag, whatever. That was in two thousand and four. Yeah, I'm sure a bunch of people have done it. Like, right, but right. Yeah, yeah. But um, but so so you started googling, started researching it. Yeah. And how do you do? You just start to push. Do you start uh, being like, okay, let me just see what this is like. Yeah. Let me skate a mile today. Yeah. So I I put the board together and I head down to this like perfectly smooth uh, path <laughs> by the beach. Just go down there and like. I think I pushed like five, maybe ten miles. Legs are completely shot, you know. I think okay, it took like yeah. an hour or so. And, and then, you just uh, get it back, also five miles, five miles back. Yeah, maybe? like okay. maybe ten miles round trip, so five and five. And okay. Then, yeah. Okay. Come back, just like completely shot. That's a good way to open the door, though. For, you know, to kind of see like, yeah, where you gauge on right. Yeah. How you yeah. can pull this off. <laughs> yep. And then you know, next week your muscles aren't sore. You go back out and hit 20 okay you know it's like starts to get easier and easier and then you end up getting less sore as you keep doing it Amazing. so did you just kind of figure out by trying this back over and over and over again that like kind of 50 to 60 miles was like your threshold of what you could do a day yeah Is that yeah i just kept doing i think i did it like four times Cause I could, you can't do that like every day. Like, what do you mean? You did I, it every day. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. But <laughs> well, <what? I> mean, <laughs> we did, you I mean, can't yeah. do it every day. You can't do it every day for 55 days. If you, know. you have a job or yeah. like a normal like, <laughs> yeah. life, you know which we I mean? know, so, we know yeah. that there's no job involved. <laughs> no, no, <right>? I, I, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I had a job, okay, so I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I'm going out like 8 a.m., 7 a.m. I'm okay. skating 50 miles, which is maybe if I'm on a good pace, like five hours. So I'll get home at noon. Rest ice my feet. Wait, 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 wait. Say yeah. that one more time. 50, 70, wait, say it one yeah. more time. So I'll do 50 miles. In the morning. Yeah, at 7 a.m. Okay. Until noon. So that's like five hours, 10 gotcha. miles an hour. Okay. And I'll get back, ice my feet, uh, you know, just relax, maybe have some food, and I'll go into work at three and work till like 10, 11 at night. And that was- <laughs> Yeah, dude. And so- <laughs> That was my training for like the whole time leading up, basically. So basically you can, that was 50 miles, you said? Yeah. <laughs> Five hours, 50 That's miles. That's not bad. 10, not, 10, yeah. 10 Well, so I didn't have that same pace across America, though, because you got, like, the roads, yeah. traffic, like, hills, People stopping, all that stuff. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Sure. But coyotes. Coyotes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cows. The terrain's a little different. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we know that we could do 50 miles in five hours. Yeah, pretty much. That's actually... Well, that's actually... I, I was expecting way longer, to be honest, yeah. but... What did you so you skated fifty miles? What did you do with the re, you just edited the rest of the time of the day? Uh, yeah, so the rest of the day I'd, I'd edit straight to the hotel, maybe grab some food real quick, and then just edit the rest of the night. But wait a minute, you said you can't you you're not averaging that while you're on the road though. No, it takes much on the longer. road. Yeah, it's much longer. It's so like a fifty mile day was between seven and twelve hours. Oh, did you find that out yeah. when you hit the road? I kind of knew. So I only skated fifty miles like you know four times, something like that. Okay. So I didn't have the time to do it, but I knew I was like, all right, I could basically, I could probably do 50 miles a day. And I knew that there would be more obstacles. So I just left myself a little more time, like wake up early, make sure, you know, you get to make it through the day. Yeah. Breakfast. Are you at the, are you getting the ho international little hotel, <laughs> little muffin and <laughs> continental, Never. Breakfast. continental breakfast? Yeah. Never. Ooh, yeah, that, could to, that could lead to disaster. I could go road. wrong. I end the day real quick. Yeah. <laughs> you got to think yeah. about. Are you bringing? Things. Are you bringing yeah. a toilet roll with you? Yep. Okay. Yeah, small one, just like just in case emergency. Yeah. yeah. Was there any emergencies? There Dyer? was two emergencies. Okay. What yeah. happened? Um, I, th I made it pretty long. Full detail, like, please. Hundred like, percent. Yeah. I need. I need details. I yeah, need honestly, details. wasn't that exciting. I, mean, I think I made it like. 20, 30 days. Nothing happened. I'm like pretty good with that stuff. Okay. And, um, yeah. One day, just. Couldn't hold it, and it's probably 20 miles in the next gas station. Yeah. So just pull off to, like, a kind of secluded behind the bushes. Like, truckers could still, like, see you. But, <laughs> There's this like, what are you dude in do? the middle yeah, of yeah. nowhere. Like, skating his shit. <laughs> at, the, at that point, like, what are they going to do? Like, yeah, stop. Like, like, yeah, everyone's just passing. So, yeah. you know, I'm just sitting there. <laughs> they like, don't know hey, who it is. Yeah. You, I hope no cops Google come right yeah. now. I hope no cops show up. Yeah. I'm just, like, going through my bag trying to find this toilet paper that's, like, buried at the bottom. <laughs> Like squat down, nothing to lean on, you know, yeah. just like get it out real quick and then 
Yeah, five I mean, minutes later, I'm back on the road. That's a real yeah. thing, man. Yeah. People get bubble guts. You know, you don't know how no, the continental breakfast is going to, yeah. you know, you don't know. Are you eating anything for breakfast? No. That could, no. So you're going out with lunch. You stop for lunch. No. Din- <laughs> dinner. Some, you eat dinner. Some, some t- you didn't eat for, for, for 50 days. <laughs> yeah, that was part of the challenge. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, I would do um, like a cliff bar or a beef jerky or like something like that for lunch. Okay. To kind of like get something solid in me. Gotcha. Mm. Sometimes I'd stop if there was something cool, if it was easy. But you're eating a good yeah. dinner though when you get to the hotel. Yeah, I would a nice little pig out. Okay, Did you burger, ever... fries, like whatever was around. Mm. Sometimes there's only fast food around too, so I like I never eat that. But I have to eat like McDonald's. Oh, yeah, that's the all best I was there. Either yeah. for for yeah. an athlete like yourself to be going you know, cross country, you're getting yeah. there's no nutritional value yeah. in any of that stuff. Did, Did you, you ever... lose any weight by chance? I lost weight. Like I how cr- much you think? Um, 10, 15 pounds, nothing crazy. Not so if I lose fifty, yeah, yeah. if I want to lose fifteen pounds, <laughs> just start skating across America. There's, 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 there's easier yeah. ways of <laughs> doing <laughs> it. Yeah. Go ahead, Deb. That, that was the part. That of was going to say. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All good. Yeah. <laughs> Two minor explosion. You needed to. Yeah. Just, okay. You really want to give more details on that, Chris? <laughs> yeah. I think about these things. <laughs> oh, I really do. So the second time, <laughs> yeah, I had to hop a fence to get to like a better like hiding spot. Right, so I'm, I find my like where I'm gonna go. Okay, and I realize you I digging forget. a hole. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I yeah. realize I forget my um, toilet, toilet paper. Cheese. I didn't <laughs> think I lost her. I didn't refill, so I had none on me. So I just grabbed a sock and made it work. You got to do what you got to <laughs> do, right, man. Yeah. Straight up, yeah. <laughs> got to make it work. You, you had know? to hop yeah. a fence. Yeah. Like a little gated kind of like okay. you know, oh. where like cattle might be and stuff like that. Oh. I'm like imagining yeah, yeah, yeah. A, like I have to get dumped. I have to yeah. jump a fence right now. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that, Straining yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Moving very slowly. Yeah. 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 Depends on yeah how uh, <laughs> how did they, bad you had to go. When you went to the hotels, did you kind of re up on like? Oh, there's a nice little towel and uh, yeah, or the yeah. toilet paper. Take some rolls. Hundred percent. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, nice. It's a nice robe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, Joe. Robe. Let me. I'm just trying to picture because you started here in Venice. Yep. Down the block. Skate right down the block. Crazy. Skated right past the studio. Actually. I know. I saw that. In, I saw that in the video. Yeah. I was on a live stream at the time too. I was like, oh, I'm not going to tell him where. That's fine. So you started right down here. You. I mean, that must have been the, you've already made the commitment, but I know what it's like around here. And I know that you ended up in, uh, no, where was it? Uh, Claremont, Rancho Cucamonga area. Yep. We know how far that is. Yeah. That's a 50 mile <laughs> yeah. car ride or 50 miles. But I'm watching you go up Venice Boulevard. I'm watching you, and I know exactly what it is. It's a little uphill. I know, I know and there, you stop, and you're like, "Oh, I got to do." And this woman comes by with a dog and everything, and I'm like, "Is does it sink in? Like, when does it sink in? Like, <laughs> oh my God, what did I do? Yeah, it's a- I am on. Uh, this is a gnarly journey. What did I, this is crazy? Yeah, it was a couple of different moments like that. I'd say like once a couple of people started skating with me, mm-hmm. and then once they left, maybe like a couple minutes after that, it was just like, okay, I'm by myself <laughs> now. Like, like the fun's gone, it's like all happening. the excitement and stuff, you know. Like this is where it gets real. And then I think at the end of the first day, I wasn't even sure I was going to daily vlog because I didn't think I could keep up with it. Right. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Oh, that yeah, wasn't was a, that wasn't a part of your like master plan. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to, but after the first day, I was just like, I don't know, this yeah. is crazy, you know. But your body gets conditioned. Yes, mm. you know? I mean, is there every day, listen? Sometimes I wake up in the morning. I don't. I don't even want to get out of bed. I don't even. I'm groggy. I'm like, is there? I mean, was there points where you were just like, dude, I? You take days off at all, dude? Not one day off. What? Yeah, but you have to get on your board and be like, I don't want to do this right now. Like yeah, throwing. A, I would throw a temper tantrum. I mean, just when you have like everyone following along, it's a little different. Yeah. When no one's watching you, it's easier to quit. Yes. You know, you got like, yeah. oh, man. You know, I've been calling this out for like two months, raising money. It's like, I can't just be like, oh, that's nah, all right. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to do quit. this, guys. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. Right. What and, was the situation like packing for something like this? What do you bring on the road with you? So I kept it super minimal. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just uh, a camelback. So I'll just keep a little bit of water back there. How many gallons does that hold? About three. Okay. So uh, one change of outfit, you know, extra bearings, wheels. It's the same outfit, though. Same Black exact hoodie, outfit. black same shirt. Thing. Black, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything. everything was identical. Everything's black yeah, yeah. going through the Mojave Desert. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> what was the and weather wise like? But wait, 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 hold oh, on, yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah. What, what else did you? Yeah. What else did you okay. carry with you? Um, just honestly the like the basics. Just like I had that mace, um, wheels, bearings, deodorant, toothbrush. Um, I think I had a little like sleeping bag. I never ended up using, but just in case I got like stranded mm-hmm. in the desert, mm-hmm. you know, it was like really small fold out one. I would think that the wheels. I would think that the bearings would be the most. Did you have to change your bearings? I didn't. I kept the same exact setup the whole trip. Wow. Did it, did it change, didn't change. Yeah, didn't change your wheel. The nothing. deck is one thing. Whatever, waterlogged. Whatever, right. it starts to yeah. delam. You're good. But bearings, you you one of those things comes out, but pops yeah. a bearing. You got to yeah. fix it. But your wheels were. I mean, they were. They started to disintegrate like not too long after you left. Yeah, yeah. Pieces were like falling off. They're getting grainy. I mm-hmm. think like two weeks in, and I was just like, all right, well, they're still rolling. It's fine. <laughs> and at the thirty day mark, I'm like. All right, they're still rolling, but yeah. they started looking haggard. And then after that, I was like, well, I already committed to kind of like, I passed the halfway right. mark. I was like, I got to make it across the country with these. You know? Oh, my God. Yeah, Did, if you didn't have to change it, yeah, you run it for sure. Yeah. I thought it would be just so much more interesting. For sure. You know? Did anybody yell, do a kickflip? A uh, couple people. Not <laughs> many, though. I said it was like two or three of those. What was the hardest place, like weather-wise, on this trip? Um, to adapt to because I mean, some places could be really cold or some places could be really hot. Let me see. I think the beginning, like California, Arizona, it was pretty warm. Not like, I mean, as warm as it gets over there, mm-hmm. but I was in a you know, black hoodie and it was getting pretty hot. Wait, why? You <laughs> didn't want to take your hoodie off? Uh, well, my <laughs> mindset was like, if I need it or it gets cold at night, mm-hmm. I have it. Okay. You know? But and you could put it in your bag. No, there's no room. I think you could have tied, it, tied it around your waist. Yeah. I could have worn, just, it, uh, worn it prep, preppy style with yeah. a, a tie it around your neck. You yeah. wore a hoodie the whole time? Well, I wore it for like, I can't remember exactly, a week, two weeks. Whew. And I had a thermal on too underneath that. Because <laughs> I was like prepared for what it was like. Whatever. War. It was like my one outfit and like my backup outfit. And like that was it. I'm just going to deal with it. A little bit of sweat, like, didn't kill anyone. Kelly, you could lose yeah. 15 pounds just by there doing that, just by walking around. <laughs> Dude, I, don't, yeah. I would sweat like crazy. So you also had to push switch because one leg couldn't couldn't hack it the whole way. Mm. Um, what did you, when did you discover that? Did you know that going into it or did you yeah. have a plan? I figured that right off the bat. I right off like, the bat. I have to learn to push switch. I was always, like, decent at it, mm-hmm. but... So I learned quick, like you think you're good at pushing switch until there's trucks flying by you <laughs> and you're going uphill and there's rocks on the ground. Right. It's different, like pushing like at the skate park switch. Like, yeah, I'm pretty good at this. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know. I bet you're good at it now. Now, I'm, yeah. <laughs> pretty close to even. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, okay. still not quite though. Now, you mentioned trucks whizzing by you. Was that, did you get used to that also or was that always unnerving? I grew up in New York, so I'm like sketching on cars and, and stuff like that. So I was always pretty comfortable okay. with that. But if this is on an open highway, like yeah. big rigs just never really bothered me. Yeah. Really? No. Did people ever stop and try to like, hey, are you, you need a ride or anything? All the time. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be surprised Imagine, how yeah. many people. Now that's yeah. the sketchy part, I would assume. Here comes a you're you're skating, you're all alone, <clears throat> desolate highway, somebody pulls over. You're like, oh, uh oh, what's this gonna be right now? Yeah. Are they gonna get out with a gun, a knife, are they gonna try to rob me, or what are they gonna try to do? Yeah, most people are actually really nice. You'd be surprised. Occasionally, you get like a sketchy, you know, you could tell like they probably want you to hop in for drugs or like something like that. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, seriously? Yeah. Okay. Like you could just tell them the look, like the way they're asking kind of, you know, or sex or like something, okay. you know? Yeah. But most people were just super nice. Just like, That's you need right. a ride? You want some water? I'm like, nah, I'm just getting across the country. Like, okay, good luck. <laughs> they're like, he's more crazier <laughs> yeah. than we are. Yeah, really. Yeah. What were like certain things... Were there certain things you learned on this trip that would make it easier for you to do every day? Like to have a certain routine that you're like, oh, if I did this, it makes it easier. And um, I mean, I think, honestly, I ended up getting pretty lucky with my routine. I'd say maybe bigger wheels, you know, but I kind of wanted to keep it like as much as a skateboard as I could. Right. Start uh, getting bigger wheels. And it's like, I don't know. 
Yeah. So it's going more into the longboard realm. Yeah. Or just like, <laughs> I don't know, you're getting wheel bite, you got to put risers on then. Totally. Starts, and it's something, know. like you said, you've never had like a, a cruiser. So yeah. jumping into like a big set, a big cruiser is yeah. going to be a little, obviously, daunting on you. I yeah. Would like say. If you have a longboard or something, like it's much easier. They yeah. could probably do twice what I'm doing with sure. bigger wheels. Like, you know, get a little sector nine out there. You're yeah. Like, doing did, it half the time. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> did you, skateboard makes it much harder. Did you buy all these, pr all the products? Yeah. Yeah, I bought everything. I was really bought like, let's see, four or five sets of wheels, something okay. like that. Just trying them out, different ones. Um, the bearings I got sent to me from SKF. Okay, they hooked me up. I just asked them, and they sent me a couple um, pairs of ceramics. Mm. So, That's good. Because people were like telling me like, "Yo, you need ceramics. Like, if you're gonna be out there, in the well, rain yeah, or yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah. Sure. What was the whole setup you rode? Um, so SKF ceramics. Seismic 68A, um, what's it? Wait, 68 millimeter. Mm -hmm. I honestly can't remember the softer the exact, though, yeah, probably yeah, 90 softer wheels something. Or yeah, um, some random like football shaped board. Random board. Yeah, just spray painted it. <laughs> Listen, I could have sent you a twin tail, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chocolate. I, I in my trunk, just like threw it on. And, <laughs> really? Yeah, and Indies. That's it. So it's all stuff I had. I didn't go crazy. I love it because like to me it sounds like. You planned out a lot of stuff, but at the same time, I feel like you just kind of like threw stuff together and said, all right, let's go. Yeah, I was meticulous about finding a route that had like no um, dirt roads, mm. which ended up not working. It ran into those anyway. Oh, wow. But I kind of like figuring stuff out. That's what makes it exciting. If everything's perfectly planned, it's not as fun. Yeah. You, you change your wheels every other day. It's like, mm. I don't know. Where's the excitement? It becomes easy, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it would become easy, but <laughs> but you use a, a a website called Kamut, right? Yeah. It was like a. Now I looked at this website. I thought it was really interesting because it gives you not only uh you know a a, a here we have it right here actually here we so it doesn't it not only gives you like a route but it also tells it's for cycling so it tells you what kind of pavement it is it tells you if it's a beginner immediate yep. advanced uh type of Thing. Oh wow, that's cool! It's really cool. I, I didn't know these type of things existed. So you could skate across America, and then you could have a view of it, right? Mm -hmm. So you could be like, okay, day five. This is an intermediate course. It's inter intermediate road ride. Good fitness required. Mostly well paved surfaces. Easy to well, ride. Just keep in mind, it's intermediate for a bike. A hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. This is not. A, they have no skateboard option. Yeah, yeah. So right, right, you know, right. They're all expert rides, basically. What do you mean they're all easy to ride, man? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I found this. I found this website fascinating because, like, how who's doing this? Who's going over every road in America and saying like, "That's an intermediate. That's about. It's easy to ride." Right? Who's doing this? I guess they base it off like the the hills. Mm. You know, yeah. steepness. Yeah. So like this one, day ten has an eight hundred foot rise, fifty foot. That's nothing. It's nothing. Eight hundred foot. Not that's easy. Yeah. That's well, basically a flat day right there. <laughs> what was the hardest incline? I think going from Palm Springs to Joshua Tree, it's like day three or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, maybe four or 5,000 feet elevation gain. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, at the bottom, like at the start, there was a sandstorm. So I'm like swallowing sand and oh, it's dry in the desert. You know, I'm just like pushing. It's, it's getting real hot. I'm still in my black hoodie. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then it's, I'm not even at the hills yet, you know? Yeah. And just all day just keeps going slowly slowly and then it just gets steeper at the end i look back and i'm like i just couldn't believe i skated up it i was like no human has skated up this for sure for sure like i could look back and be like yeah no i mean <laughs> you're seeing these roads for the first time yeah as you're skating them there's no like i mean you're not google mapping uh google you yeah. know whatever the car that goes through and mm -hmm. you could see the road google roads you're not seeing you are not. no yeah i don't i mean i glance through sometimes just to check to make sure it wasn't dirt okay okay but yeah for the most part like i found out that going up that big hill um i was on the shoulder and it was about a foot wide rocks everywhere and cars are flying by me mm. so i'm going uphill trying to push switch and regular that's going like three that's hours going, that's going hours into joshua tree right yeah yeah, that, yeah. dude i'm trying to because okay let's say i'm gonna go skate down the street or wherever and there's a hill so i get to the hill and I pick up my board. You call an Uber. And I walk or I walk up the <laughs> hill. So you're not walking in any way on like certain things like that. No, and if it got like so steep, I would get off my board and just take a breath and start at the exact same spot. 
So you been... pushing every inch up every hill. So, so you, there, every yeah. inch of America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was tripping. I didn't, I didn't really think about that until yeah. now that you actually physically pushed yeah. every single and inch. And then at the end of the day, I would like mark exactly where I stopped, leave a little marker, come back, start there. So <laughs> this was also not only for yourself, but the Guinness Book of World Records mm -hmm. needed something like that to yep. make sure that it was good. Yeah, which yeah. is still pending, by the way, right? It hasn't... Nope. Come, hasn't, oh, got yeah, it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. World record for what? Yep. Skating across the country. Uh, the, the technical term is fastest uh, skateboard across the country. Fastest skateboard across the country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's all... Wow. Te technically, it's the first. Mm-hmm. Because Jack Smith, he had the first one. Okay. But, um, so, it's kind of a funny story. When I called... Guinness, like trying to get in touch with them. <laughs> well, I, you can't call them. You have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks for email. So it's yeah. waited for a while. But got the email back from Guinness, and I'm asking them, do I have to beat three people? Because he did it relay with three different people. So I'm like, do I have to beat? Oh. He did it in 28 days. So I'm like, do I have to beat that by myself? Interesting. It would have been like 100 and something miles yeah, a day, sure. you know? Okay. Um, so they were like, let me get back to you on that. <laughs> so like a month later, they're like, yeah, um, you could set the record. Uh, that's yeah. He didn't like really technically do it, mm. and I felt so bad because they like kind of took the record like away. I was just, like, I was just asking a question. Like I was. Oh, so did that. you think yeah. they took the record away from? Well, him? they were like, you could set the record, right? So right. basically, like, he did. They he said did the so record. He got the record, right. but it was with three people over a certain right. amount of days. Exactly. You're doing it by yourself. Yeah. yeah so it's kind of a different record. Yeah. He, totally got, the, different. he got the relay it's, record. It's completely yeah. different. But the way Guinness, like, they don't have different categories, and they're like, they wouldn't budge on it. Okay. So like a longboard mm. is the same as a skateboard. Gotcha. So like a longboard, I could just beat my record. So he, you yeah. have the record now. Yeah. Right. Mm. Somebody else can come around do it a day quicker than you, and then they have the record. Well, not a day because. Oh. I actually, they got it wrong on the thing. They put 57 days. Okay. Six hours, it's actually 56. 56 mm. hours. Right, because I finished like halfway through that last day. Okay. So. So, so you, you, you have to call him again yeah. and be like. <laughs> I have to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is it right here. Chad, I have to ask him to fix it. Chad mm. Caruso, 57, which should be 56. Yes. Days, six hours, 56 minutes from United, from Virginia Beach, uh, Venice Beach, excuse me, to Virginia Beach. Mm hmm March 24th, 2013, uh, 2023. Uh, the fastest crossing of America on a skateboard, male, is 57 days, 6 hours, 56 minutes, which we know is 56 days, and achieved by Chad Caruso, who traveled from Venice Beach to Virginia Beach, 24, da, da, da. Chad made his attempt to achieve a Guinness World Record title and to bring awareness to the causes of addiction and mental health. He made long distance skates in the six months leading up to his attempt to build his stamina. So yeah, that's that's true. So you did this to raise awareness for uh, certain charities. Yeah, um, charity was called Natural High. Mm -hmm. They basically just uh, they're in classrooms in all fifty states, and they help kids find a passion to focus on instead of you know drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because that's kind of what you know my story was and what got me off of skating right. so I'm trying to give back to what helped me you know I love it nice. I love it and then so you raised you had the GoFundMe this time as well yeah you raised almost $50,000 I think you're like literally like 500 bucks away from your yeah like goal yep nice wow <laughs> here it is right here 49,706 dollars 1,004 people 1,400 people donated that's special. Which is mind that's blowing. That's yeah, so yeah. Awesome. I couldn't believe it. As the whole thing was going on, like, and the support grew and grew, I just every day it just kept blowing my mind. So rad. I mean, God. you're not wearing your hoodie right there. Oh, Mr. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was before the skate. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. So you're gonna donate a percentage of this to the, um, and I'm sure a lot, uh, most of the, some of the percentage is gonna go to covering whatever you need yeah. to cover. Yep. Um, skaters are pointing skaters, bro. Good yep. Shit, man. Were people trying to d d dismiss or debunk what you were doing and saying it was fake or anything? Because you know, we all them know the internet, yeah, right? And like, oh, he, this, oh, he did this. This wasn't in his video, so like they're dissecting it and trying to call it, uh, yeah. not real. I think once in a while, mm -hmm. but it really didn't happen. And okay. I think because not many people are daily vlogging their whole entire experience, true, like, right. and across America, it's like. 
there's not much I could really lie about. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's yeah, all yeah. right there in front yeah. of you. You know what I mean? True. Yeah. True. Um, but yeah, a couple people here and there. It's frustrating. I mean, even if it's a couple people, you're like, motherfucker, you really? try this. Are you serious yeah. right now? Come on, man. <laughs> so we got to talk about the moth in the ear. That was one of like the main things that happened to you. Not uh, Among other things, you had shin splints, you had... Yeah. Um, you, you started off with an actual like a meniscus injury. Yeah. yeah. My lateral medial meniscus are still torn. Yeah. Oh, Ugh. so you, which, which leg you're pushing so I, leg I had or your surgery. Um, I think it was right before I filmed that last video part mm-hmm. and then retore it. So yeah, that's my uh, front leg. Okay. I mean, they're both my front leg now, but I love yeah. that. <laughs> so yeah. you, um, so you got them, uh, you're skating and this moth just flies into your ear well, and you had to go to like a, you had to find an urgent care. Yeah. Which did that take you off of your route too, to, to find a, how, yeah. L- I'll that tell is you, the yeah. Yeah, yeah. thing <laughs> ever, dude. Okay. Have you so, ever had a bug in your ear? It's not a, a it's moth. A, it's a, it's like, not a moth. even if you had a, like an ant in there, it's just, it's. Yeah, it's highly it's annoying. Worst. I'm skating uphill all day. I finally get to the downhill. Mm-hmm. I'm like finally ready to relax. Go down this hill, start getting some speed. And moth just comes flying at my head, so I try to dodge, and it just goes straight into my ear, and it was pretty big. You like see, the size of you a see quarter. this moth yeah. coming. You're like, yeah. oh yeah. shit! Yeah, so I, I got Yeah, so I try to move, and it's like the size of a quarter. So I guess like he was coming the opposite way. So like that velocity just like wedged him into my ear. Otherwise, he's too big to get in there. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I start freaking out immediately. My board is rolling down the hill. I have no idea where it is. I'm like just shaking my ear, wiggling it. And they're, they're all sunburn at this point. So they're just raw. I'm like ripping it. Um, and the first thing I thought as I'm panicking was, hold on, you got to set your phone up. <laughs> like this is like once a light, like you have to get this. I like, got a moth in my ear yeah, right yeah. now. Like, let me so film I put Like you're phone, trying to get yeah. it out right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm holding my nose, blowing, trying to get this thing out, <laughs> shaking my ear, trying everything. Now, I don't know. I've never had this experience. Crazy. I never yeah. heard of it. Because so you I could probably know. hear it like... Yeah, it was flying oh the whole gosh. time. The whole time in my ear. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. So uncomfortable. So people stopped. Now, did you get a ride to the urgent so, care? What, what happened so with that? As this was happening, mm-hmm. some kid, uh, a viewer pulls up and he's like ready to skate with me. Okay. He's like, you know, wanting to skate. I'm this like, dude oh, right here? Yep, right okay. there. And I'm like, hey, um, just give me a second. I'm kind of like dealing with something right now. He's like, all right, cool. I'm going to go park and I'll skate back and we'll skate together. Guys, so just kind of basically ignored it. Okay, uh, yeah, whatever. He dude. didn't really know. I'm just, what, I'm just here with you. Yeah. He probably didn't know what was going on. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. For sure. So he comes back, and by the time he gets back, I'm just like, all right, I guess this thing lives in my head now. I'm gonna have to just keep going and <laughs> wow. like leave it in, right? He just got showed up. You anyway, know, he came all the way out to skate, so I'm not gonna let him down. So we just start skating. Wow. Yeah. And then like, where's the <laughs> wait? So how did how did this thing yeah. get all out? Right, so I keep skating. <laughs> uh huh. Say goodbye to him. A couple miles later, another kid meets up. Same thing. Tell him the story. Kind of just ignores it. We hang out. Uh, third person I met up with, tell him the story. I'm like, I got to get to urgent care. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that was a little bit out of the way. Okay. I had to go there. and Did you have to skate um, there or did you leave a marker on the ground so, of where you left off? Yeah. So at that point, I left a marker. Okay. And that guy had a car with him there, and he was just like, I'll drive you there right now. So you drove to Urgent right. Care, came yeah. back, and then took st- right and back that, to the marker. That was fine. Yeah. Right. Um, and then I go into Urgent Care, and there's like five nurses all like laughing, trying to hear my story. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, all right, guys, like, gotta I get in got there. this thing in my <laughs> ear. How do they pull yeah. it out? It took pretty long, actually. Like, I cut it down in the video, so it's like watchable, but it took like 20 minutes. Mm. Yeah. And they're just flushing it out with water. They didn't have and no tweezers or anything there? No. Sure. Yeah, okay. just water. And I'm watching this, yeah. and I'm like, I mean, look at right here. They're using like a spray bottle that you do, that you clean the counters with. Yeah. yeah. It's not even, it doesn't even look like a yeah. surgical. And at, at first, she takes like a little piece of something out, and uh-huh. she's like, okay, I got it. Like, no, you didn't. You would know. This thing is huge. Still in there. Yeah. So she ended up getting it, and it's, yeah, it's that huge. Is, that there's, feeling... There's, 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 it like squirts a bunch of water in there. Does it feel like I've had that happen to me before? It feels you get like what's it called? Like you don't you can't sense what's up and right or I didn't get any like vertigo, off, yeah, vertigo. vertigo or anything like that. Oh. But it was like building a lot of pressure in my head. Yeah, yeah. 
I did that once. I got vertigo like crazy, and I it felt it feels nuts. Sometimes that's how they get earwax out of your ear. If yep. your ear, if yep. your ear, they they squirt. But it's more of a. That's why I was tripping on the the, the type of apparatus they were using, which yeah. it looked like they would just clean the counters outside and came in and started squirting it in your ear. Because yeah. usually it's like it looks like a doctor's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's very formal. It's like oh here, yeah. come here. So okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The, we want to check this little thi- little guy out. Which I say little guy, but he he's yeah. And you the know. video obviously doesn't do it justice. It was it was pretty big, yeah. man. Yeah. Let's let's see. She's, she's squirting it. <laughs> she's squirting Moth it. in the ear, dude. Yeah. And I that didn't know a... at that point if like if they lay eggs or what it really was. Yeah. We didn't oh. know at the point, you know. So I was just I had no idea about this stuff. Yeah, you start to yeah, mind starts to wander. Right. You're like, oh my god, it's just I'm a host now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's gonna grow babies. Right. Yeah. It's a whole thing now. Yeah. I'm gonna have to live with this for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I want to see this guy. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see it. Well, more. Oh, fun. there it comes. There it is. Got him. Oh my god. I mean, it's a, it yeah, it's a regular little moth. It's she old. called it a butterfly. She called it a butterfly. Yeah, I don't know why, but huh. she well, when they uh, like looked at it with a microscope, they said it had colors. So I don't know if I don't know, I don't know anything about. I'm sure it. everything oh. that you look under a microscope has colors. Right. I mean, I'm not a micros- microscopologist <laughs> or whatever, but so that was one of the <laughs> yeah. most, I don't know what to say. Like not, you, you didn't get hurt, yeah. but it was one Conflict. of the- Conflict, interesting, yeah, yeah, interest, yeah, 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 all of the above. Mm-hmm. What what was the most thing you that you hurt though? What was what hurt the most where you're like, I don't even know if I can continue. Depends on the day. Every day was different. Yeah. Uh, some days my shins were just, mm. like, felt like they were going to explode. Shin splints is no joke. Yeah, really I've had them before. No it's brutal. gnarly. Yeah. It's gnarly when you're just like doing nothing. Yeah. yeah. And I have to push. Like like the worst shin splint you ever had and then be like, all right, I'm going to go push 50 miles today. <laughs> um, and I learned a lot about them. Like okay. they come in waves, you know, and like once you start pushing or maybe your adrenaline gets going, it kind of like goes away. Eases up a little Maybe it'll come mm. back, but... Um, yeah, at one point where I was just like so much pain in the 60 mile mark, and then it just disappeared. Mm. So, all right, I'm just going to keep going, you know, just ride the wave. I didn't really know what was happening, but. Huh. Um, and then as the trip went along, I basically didn't have shin splints. Like right. they just got less and less. Mm-hmm. And then it became more of the arches of my feet and my Achilles. Like a plant, plantar fasciitis. Yep. Mm. And that still hurts me. Still now. hurts. Yeah. Interesting. So when you finally got done with it, and we'll talk about the Virginia Beach and yeah. the landing and the mayor was there and there's a day now, Chad Caruso <laughs> day out there. But um, how how how's it been since you've done this? Is it do you not want to skate? Is skateboarding the the sight of it make you <laughs> sick now? Like what is yeah? What's the feeling now? Um, like I does wanna, your body I'm, not yeah. even want to skate? I really want to skate. Okay, yeah. But your I, body like immediately. What about your I, body? Um, yeah, my feet. I took a month off. I don't know if that was good or bad. Uh huh. Um, but. I didn't know if it was going to be permanent or not, so I was just like, all right, I'm going to take a month off. Permanent as in, like, what? You're like, I didn't know if that Achilles pain or, you know, would ever go away. I had yeah. uh, Achilles, I've had, I had Achilles problems, and it was, they called it, it was tendonitis, basically, yeah. and what that is, is an, it's an overuse of a tendon, so I can see that happening easily for you. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, that took me out for a year. Really? Yeah. I had to do physical therapy every day. I had to buy all this equipment. And I was filming in the Transworld video at the time. It was a, it was a disaster. Yeah, it's painful. It's painful yeah. as hell. Mm. So that was one of the things you're like, I'm just going to take a month off. But you, let me heal also. Like I got my, my, let me, my shins, my... Everything else was good. Seriously? Like my shins, you know, like I said, Went passed away. all the pain. Okay. Uh, nothing else was really sore. Yeah. I felt fine. I wasn't like, yeah, I could have kept going, honestly. Right. But yeah, the last couple of days, my feet were like so much pain. And uh, only now, like a month in, a week or two, mm-hmm. just starting to go away. Mm. Wow. Did you do now any tricks? I'm ready to skate now. Did yeah. you do any tricks while you were on this trip? So that kind of, <laughs> I was doing it at the end of every day to like post on TikTok or just have something to like share my mileage. Mm-hmm. I would film a flat ground trick. Started with just pushing. And then it was like an ollie, a kickflip, and obviously just kept going up. And it became like day 40, <laughs> 80 miles, a 12 hour day. And I'm like, I have to film this clip. And I like, can't <laughs> land like a varial flip. And I'm like, <laughs> like, I have to go edit the video. Like, please let me land something, you know? 
I'm like sitting there at a tripod in the middle of traffic to make this, it scenic. This picture and like stuff. sums yeah. it up right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, like, just sitting in a hotel room, yeah. ice and foot in the ice bath. Like, oh yeah. my god. <laughs> But that's the thing, man, is like, you probably f really find out who you are out there. I mean, I'm watching the videos as a viewer. I'm, I'm, I'm watching the whole thing, the moth in the ear. I'm like, damn, that's uncomfortable. But then, you know, it's funny because like, I'm, when you're, when you have a moth in your ear and you're, you're skating 50 miles a day and you're on, what, what day was that? 40, maybe 30 yeah, something? 40s. Yeah. And 30. here comes this guy. And, you know, bless his heart. I'm not saying anything bad about him. He's stoked to see you. I'm sure a lot of people were. But his energy seemed very high. Like he came <laughs> up, what's up, yeah. dude? What's up? And you're suffering. You've just skated. Uh, how, how many miles was that into when you moth? Um, you don't even remember. Right? 30. 30 miles. Yeah. And here's this guy, so stoked to see you. What's up, dude? Hey, da, da, da. And you're just like, I'm watching it like frustrated. Like, <laughs> dude calm down i got it so i got a moth in my ear right now i've <laughs> skated about 40 miles like you, let's bring your energy down because we're not matched up right now i'm yeah. i'm in misery and you're just stoked yeah did you ever feel like that i mean not yeah. god yeah, bless no. him like i'm saying like he doesn't know what you're going through yeah but I, like yeah. i got that comment a lot actually people would leave, like leave him alone and like i would be flipping out right now but yeah. i don't know i just like they came all oh, the way out to see me. Especially though, yeah. especially the yeah. moth incident. Like yeah, especially the, that the moth yeah, yeah. incident, and here's this yeah. guy that's overly uh, hyper, you yeah. know, and stoked to see. I you. mean, in that specific moment, I guess I'm just able to realize, all right, this thing ain't going anywhere. Like, what's me getting angry about it going right. to change? You know, right, right. So I just carry on. But yeah, like you were saying before, though, like pushing yourself for that many days, it's just like shows you what you're able to do for after sure. that, you know, right. I mean, man, you're, you're halfway through, you're a quarter of the way there. You're like, is the, is the, is the last haul the hardest? No, the middle. Oh. Seriously? Yeah. Why? Uh, well, the, le the end was, you know, like a week before. I was mm -hmm. getting a little antsy, okay. but the middle was just like Texas was just brutal. Mm. Just the worst ground <laughs> for the whole time. Just it's stuff called, I think it's called chip seal. It's basically like gravel just big rocks separated just the worst ground you could possibly ride on i'd be going downhill and have to push there was there's a name <laughs> for this kind of road yeah. yeah i think it's chip seal it could be something else though and why why is it why do they have that there is it just that maybe it's cheaper uh, i'm not really sure but hmm. brutal so hmm. i was faced with that one day for the first day it rained 50 miles the whole day chip seal in the rain in the rain all you got to trash bag yeah. on and that was a day where i'd be like mile 30 you know just like i'm not moving i'm pushing as hard as i can and i'm just like vibrating and not moving and like you know just stand off your board and just like you know but what are you gonna do you have to get to the hotel so you just gotta keep doing it you know too. It'd be very discouraging some, yeah. sometimes. Did you ever do like a Lloyd Christmas thing where you just went the wrong direction? Like, <laughs> yeah, a couple, okay. couple times. A couple times I did that. Like eight miles. Just let it go, direction. man. Yeah, yeah. Just let it go. Yeah. 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 This is Chip Seal, by the that way. That John Denver that's full actually, shit. That looks pretty good. That's better to, than what yeah. you were riding Some of the on ones right I rode on are way worse. Yeah. Okay. That looks horrible. Yep. It does. Yeah, yeah. Even for cruiser wheels. That yep. looks bad. Uh, right here, this is, uh, these are your, look at the wheels right here. The, you, now, you said you brought another pair of wheels, but you didn't want to switch them. I, I would assume that at this point in time, you'd be like, okay, it's, let me switch them, it's time. Yeah. Um, those are actually still in pretty good condition at that point. They got, wow. they got much worse than that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I want to see the after I was after only effect. at like day 40 or something at that picture. So yeah, they got worse. But yeah, I brought the wheels and I didn't want to change them until like they broke basically mm. so i didn't want to be like in the middle of the desert and have nothing so sure. even though it was extra weight that i didn't really need it was just like didn't want to risk it yeah, yeah. and let's talk about that because you were in the desert you ran out of water we were talking about uh the people coming up to you during your skate when you're the moth in your ear maybe the, not the best timing but you took it all in stride it was mm -hmm. you're really uh, nice to people and everything how was it going on this journey and having people just coming up to you, stopping, driving out to see you? Because you're posting your, 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 your route. So people know where you're going to be. They know, oh my God, he's five miles away. He's going to be coming through at a certain time. I'm going to go there and wait for him. Yeah. Like, was that, was that a trip? 
Yeah, I mean, I couldn't believe it. And it got more and more as the trip went on. And uh, I mean, to me, that's the reason why I do these kind of trips. Mm -hmm. Part of it, like I like pushing myself, but I love meeting people and hearing their stories. And so, listen, you can go back down cool. to the Starbucks yeah. and do the same <laughs> thing. Now, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, don't have the same impact though. Is it? No, you don't think so. No, somebody just drinking coffee, you know, or tea. Mm, no, but well, here you are. I mean, you gotta. You know, you are on a journey. You are on this time constraint thing. You do have to stop to people and uh, you know oblige a conversation sometimes. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm pushing 10 hours a day, like basically every day. So it's not even that bad for like a 10 minute break. Yeah. So everyone's like, oh, you're interrupting, making it slower in this. But mm. I think it's cool. I got a little break, talk with someone. I'm by myself for every single day. Yeah. You know, so. That's one thing I was going to say too. It's just a part of the adventure though too. Yeah. And yeah. you get to meet some rad people. I mean, what? this, this guy's, I've never... Sh leaned out of my car like that to shake somebody's hand i mean look at that i think he's actually he's behind, behind the car, car. <laughs> just, it looks like he's just like, <laughs> that, like, like he's leaning out he's, he's leaning out of the car it does look like that that's oh, great. it does look like that with the door open on the other side that's yeah so funny. <laughs> look at so that good. he's out of the car lee i've never he does you've never done that before uh-uh no. <laughs> He had Wait, to who get shot out, that photo? Yeah, he was. Um, so my friend Josh Katz, he flew out and shot photos for a couple days. Mm -hmm. Just follow me. He'd like look for a cool spot, drive ten miles ahead, and then wait for me to like and just start skating past him. Really? And wow. sometimes he'd hide so I wouldn't see him. Like, yeah, he'd spend the whole day just like shooting. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So are you you're, are you making a documentary about this? Yep. So was he part of the documentary process or was he just a friend that wanted to come out and shoot? Just a friend. Uh, he ended up doing the Jenkum article at okay. the end. So he used all his photos and like wrote that. Rad. Yeah, yeah. That was a good article. Rad. Shout yeah. out to Jenkum. He did a great, got, um, great job. Yeah. Man. Oh, so you had nothing to do with that article? Me? Yeah. I mean, I was in the photos. That's about it. It's about him. It's <laughs> I know it's about <laughs> you, but you didn't have yeah. did you get it. Oh, no. J yeah, Josh just like wrote stuff down mm -hmm. and, and he was following the trip and they made something out of it with all the photos. Rad. Yeah. I love that, man. Mm -hmm. When's this documentary supposed to come out? Um, so my friend has this production company, Six Sense, and he's working on it now. It's probably like 80, 90% done. Oh, Sick. cool. So, it's, it's so is this majority the stuff that you filmed or is it like? None. None. Maybe at the end there'll be a little bit, okay. just like you know, showing some of the funny interactions. Right. But for the most part, it's all footage he shot. He flew out, got me in the desert in the middle of nowhere. Dope. Yeah, yeah. That's some good, really right. good footage in there. What, what what happened with the water situation? You see, you ran out of water. How did how did? I think you have a backpack, say three gallons. How did you not have water at that point? Yeah, I mean, because. It's different. I'm from New York, so you don't dry up as fast as you do out here. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's a little different, you know? So, yeah. like, in the middle of the desert, and you're pushing all day, like, that That went by pretty quick. And then... And this is day five, mind you. Yeah. And yeah. at that stretch, I think it was... It might have been, like, 50 miles, no gas stations, like, nothing. You know? If you think about yeah. it, mm -hmm. here you are, you're asking this guy. He He's uh, from Germany or something, right? He's, yeah. he's uh, by uh, a guy. You're asking, like... You make a small talk, then you're like, hey, man, can I, you got any water I can buy? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then he's yeah. like, yeah, he gives you like an opened bottle of water, yeah. right? And then yeah. there's this other guy you ask, you're like, hey, man. Like, <laughs> you, you walk up to this truck, right? Yeah. And you're like, hey, man, you got any water I can yeah. buy off you? Like, but it's, we're joking, but this is like a life and death situation. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I stopped there because I was like, I was getting pretty tired and there was nowhere around. That was the only spot with shade for the whole day. Wow. You know, it was that. It was a bunch of shoes hanging on a, one slab of concrete. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that was like, wow, shade. So I chilled there and like, I guess it was a famous thing. People would come and take pictures, right. stuff like that. So Well, at least you knew you could have gotten got yeah. a pair of shoes if your shoes right. were beat up <laughs> at that some point. Backups, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Here's the guy right here that you, uh, he looked like a, a worker or something. He was out doing some construction work. And luckily wow. he gave you like four or five bottles of water yeah, from cold. his cooler. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, he bl blessed it right there. What, I thought, what I thought was funny though is you preface the question <laughs> of like, "Hey man, you got any water I could buy off you?" And then he gives you the water. You're like, "Thanks, man." And you turn around and you leave. You don't even offer him any money. Yeah, because he he handed four. I was obviously he was it was a gift at that point. <laughs> no, maybe he, <laughs> like, you better buy those four. Yeah. Maybe he wanted maybe he wanted a dollar each for him. Maybe. Wow, that's yeah, he, that's nice cool, of him. No, super nice, super nice. Gave you a nice cold, I mean, cold wow. water at that yeah. point. Oh my. That hit the spot, bro. Even, you'd be surprised at the end of the days, I would be craving like a can of soda. 
right. weird. I don't know what it was, oh, but like an ice cold soda. And so someone showed up here and gave me like a Coke, banana bread. The family that was yeah. Uh, from, yeah, but they, they gave you banana bread. Yeah. The sugar just started creeping in. Like, yeah, exactly. you need to give me something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's a weird place. Right? Uh, what was the temp out there? Do we know? Oh, uh, it was pretty hot this day. Okay. I don't know. And you still with your and who are the, and these people came up with more water. So yep. you filled your camel bag. Yeah, yeah, I was good at that point. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, what was uh, where, where where was that again? I think Arizona. Okay, wait, well, it yeah. looks like it. It's tough. It's California, Arizona. Yeah. Oh, there's a soda. Yeah, that, that, a coke, soda. that Coke hit different. Yeah. Right there, man. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. When you're doing like a skate like this 10 hours a day, yeah. food just tastes different. <laughs> you have like an orange in the middle of nowhere, you're like, this is the best thing on the planet. <laughs> just tastes so different. Oh, yeah. some banana bread. Yeah. Banana bread. <laughs> the best like banana the fr- bread yeah. you've ever had. It's the first time I ever ate. Yeah. It's Wait, like, were they those random people or they they were watching you on YouTube? All random. Oh, wow. All these people random. I guess that's like a little... Checkpoint in the middle of a 50 mile drive. It's just something you could take a picture of. Um, wow. <laughs> Banana bread <laughs> in the say, middle of yeah, the desert. Yeah. Sounds the randomest. Yeah. Food. I don't know. <laughs> They're just like, this poor, this poor guy, homeless guy, <laughs> was out there. <laughs> Yeah. Says he was skating across America, you know. Mm-hmm. But we gave him some bread. bread. <laughs> that just goes to show that there's a lot of good people out there, man. You know what 100%. I mean? Whether or not you think that you you're in a desolate situation yeah. right here where there's nothing going on, but I mean, just about every day I encountered someone that was like willing to give a ride, give mm. me something, donate. Like that's really rad, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was funny. The hoodie too. on. I know. <laughs> the hoodie man. in the middle of the All right, desert. so the thing with the hoodie was I didn't want my arms to fry and have oh. to worry about lotion like every day and getting burned. Makes sense. You no. know? So that, that's where that started. Okay. And then, I don't know. Oh, so totally, I don't want to carry the thing. and then That totally makes yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah. I don't even wear glasses or hats ever. No, no. I, just for this trip. <laughs> Actually, on the day, day one, somebody handed me that hat. Oh, that's If I didn't really? give me that, I would have been, yeah, fried. That thing wow. came in handy. Yeah, this road looks beat, bro. Like bad. Well, Dude. at least that little clip they just showed earlier. I'm like, well, it's actually the the owner of Jackalope. He gave me that hat. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were there. In the oh, okay, area. in Venice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is uh. And then you, you... <laughs> we, we, was like, doing some setup shots annoying, or it seems to me like yeah. I mean, I've been doing YouTube for a while, so right. I'm pretty used to it. And okay. if I'm going to get, like, a funny shot or a cool shot, like, I'm excited to it's stop it. it, you know? <laughs> gotcha. But, gotcha. Yeah, some of these stretches, though, were gnarly. Like, there's no people, nothing around. Yeah. Complete silence Fish. for 100 miles. Yeah. You know? You're out there completely alone. Right. So if something goes wrong, it goes to the back of your mind. Like, Of course. You know? And if yeah. I fall, if I trip, like, something. Anything. Yeah. Also, you so, are... I mean, you're filming everything with your cell phone. So yeah. you do have a phone with you. You do have True. contact with the outside world. It's not like you're totally isolated. Well, Depends if they have cell service. Yeah, a lot of the places in this spot wouldn't have service. Right. Yeah. right. What about battery situation? Did you run into problems with that? Sometimes, but I brought a portable charger. So I made sure that that was every day. I was like, number one priority. Yeah. 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 That's I mean, when you, when, you, when you make a wrong turn and you hit a dirt road or anything, like how, how often are you checking the, the route and the GPS and stuff like that? So I would have it on and like, you know, it would narrate where to turn. You have it in your ear. But oh, then when okay. I'm recording, because I would record with my headphones in, so it's better with the wind, it would like talk over me filming. Like you would hear the GPS. You would turn it so off. So I turn you it off turn and then I'd be like 10 miles down the wrong road. Oh, so I have God. to like be constantly looking at it to stay on top of it. I get bummed when I <laughs> make the wrong turn in a car and yeah. I got to go back around, yeah, like imagine. let alone 10 miles on a skateboard yeah. and you got to go backtrack. Uphill, yeah. Uh, not uh, fun. Devastating. Oh, that looks a little sunburnt right there. Damn. Yeah. Whew. Do you, I mean, you, you, you live this, you edited every video. Do you go back and watch any of the videos just as a, Never. no, no. I like, I make, it's been like this forever. I just make something and I'm done. I just yeah. move on. Right. That's it. Yeah. Would you do this again for any reason? Um, maybe. Maybe yeah. down the road, but like, probably not. Yeah. I mean, you, know, you don't need to. Maybe I do sure. something shorter or. I don't know. Maybe, maybe down some, the road. We'll see. But maybe something more challenging not. and do it in Europe or something. Yeah, it's a possibility. Right. Oh, that. Could but be I, cool. I don't know. I never wanted to just become like the guy that skates across everywhere. Right. You don't want to be. You know, known. You know, yeah. 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 I probably could. It's just I don't really want. <laughs> you to. move yeah. on. Yeah. Exactly. It was Come fun. On. It was fun. Cool experience. And 
Yeah. You're the guy that skates everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. For my Achilles sake, I'll pass on that. Yeah. Do you, uh, we're not done yet, but do you have a, or we're not done with the, because I want to talk about going into the, the, the closing. Yeah. <clears throat> do you have any other things planned at the moment to get into? Do you have any um, other wild ideas you want to? Not really at the moment. Okay. I have a TV show I'm like trying to put together. Mm, okay. It's like basically like a travel based kind of something like that. Skating so, everywhere. Yeah. And finish yeah. the documentary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there goes the guy that doesn't exactly. want to be known. Yeah. Mm. But he's working on the show. <laughs> That's cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Who That's knows? It. Yeah. Um, how how are you doing that? Are you just using the footage you filmed and then other stuff from the documentary? How are you um, putting that together? So like my friend uh, has that company Six Sense. He's making a documentary. Mm -hmm. He'll put together like with really good footage, make like a little like, sizzle reel to pitch to people and stuff like that. Got so, you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's the last stretch we've had. What was the road called the, in Texas? The bad road. Oh, Chip Seal. We've had Chip Seal. We've had moths in the ear. We've had overly hyped people. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the last stretch heading into VA, right? Now, I found it interesting, and I don't even know if you knew, because I'm sure you're, you're at night, you're talking to your girlfriend, you're, you know, you're talking to your friends. You're, yeah. Did you know that all this was going to happen when you rolled into the last stop, when it was going to be like, the mayor was there. There was people waiting for you. You had a police escort, yeah. even. No idea. No clue. No idea. I thought there was going to be like 10 people there. Like, I talked to my friend. I was like, yeah, there'll be like eight, ten people there, maybe. Like, I'm not sure, you know. I'm not but, sure but, if anyone's driving down from New York. Like, but uh, you know. but but on the way though, <laughs> on the yeah. way, people are stopping. They're, you know, you you're already seeing an outpouring of people coming in to 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 you know be with you or say what's up or even skate with you. Yeah, I just thought because of the Jackalope Fest where I was like gonna be. Like that was the big ending where people would meet up. Mm -hmm. So I thought this like little finish would be like, all right, you finished, but like this is the celebration. Okay. So I just thought it would be like, you know, casual, maybe a news reporter or two, you know, okay. family, yeah, right. friends, you know what I mean? And it was not that at all. Yeah, yeah. You, it was pretty, pretty it was impressive. Insane. Pretty oh, yeah, I yeah. love this guy. This guy stole the golf cart from somewhere. <laughs> he, He's like, yeah, I found yeah. this in the bush over here. He's hysterical. Yeah. He came actually down from New York. Did he? Yeah. Wow. Love yeah. that. Wait, was sketching allowed at all at this no sketching okay yeah i wanted to okay. point, for sure <laughs> yeah i was gonna I say that not, could be a good yeah, way yeah. to do it oh man just yeah. holding a car for a couple miles yep <laughs> so this is the final this is the final uh day 57 the so final push sick, man. Yep. going into it and so now i mean you are getting a police look there's a cop skating uh, with oh, us. Oh, did you think he was gonna give you a ticket no he was cool actually oh, okay. he has like a big i think instagram account is he the guy cop. who gives boards away to Maybe. No, there's a there's I'm a not, cop that gives boards there's a, away. There's to one of those guys. Anyway, sure. so yeah, yeah, you have a, you have a bunch of people skating with you. You have a cop skating with you. You get a, a police escort down to the beach. I mean, all this is yeah. They you, escorted me over like one of the main bridges over there. Mm -hmm, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. And they just kept like more people kept showing up. I couldn't believe it. I was in awe. I was. I mean, it's amazing. That must have felt yeah. so good, bro. Like that. It was unreal. I thought yeah. I felt like. A, they were like, were these people in the wrong place? Like, why are they here for me? Like, what? Everyone's it just so felt happy. so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. listen, you're doing news stories along the way. You're, I mean, they're covering you on the news. Like, this is, yeah. listen, this isn't this something that everybody does any day. No. Like, this is something, you know, this is big, it's man. Gnarly feet, I guess, bro. like, after doing it every single day, it just got, like, normal. Right. You right. know, I'm just yeah. like, every single day, totally. 50 miles. So, yeah. towards day 40, I'm just like, yeah. Well, just another not, day. Not yeah, exactly. No, yeah. Just another day, yeah. literally. And so here you are. You're skating. Everybody's filming you. The cop's still pushing. He's loving it. Oh, you can tell you, you're like taking it all in, bro. This is like a, mo I, a moment. I was going to say, is it like emotional at this point? Yeah, there was one point where I felt like I was going to cry. I had to hold it back a little bit. Right. Yeah. 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 I, I was just, I couldn't believe it. It was like, oh, well, not only are you, with, uh, is it yeah, the last support. day? Here yeah. you are and all the support. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. See, and the beach is right there. You're like, and you know, <laughs> the it's the Lord. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and it's the culmination of like everything, everything you felt, yeah. pushed through emotions, years of prat. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, I mean, look, there's a lot of people there. You know? One thousand. Like people were bro. saying, like, don't skate through the desert alone. You're gonna die. Right. Like I would hear that all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, just like 
fight, like getting to the end, all those different things. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Look, and then a, look at all those people. Yeah, a little banner. You what? Cr- you <laughs> yeah. Pro- look at everybody. Look at that, Here, dude. Oh, you gotta check this out. Right at the end. Yeah. The mayor puts his hand up, like huge for a high five. I just oh, skate directly past him. Look. Uh-huh. Oh. I didn't give. Him a, I didn't even see him. Oh. <laughs> You were in. You had the tunnel vision. Yeah, bro. exactly. I was looking right at the ocean. Well, because you wanted to dive into the ocean, that was going to be your yeah. hurrah. The last hurrah was get, so. Well, it maybe, actually wasn't. I was just going to like touch it. I had no plans to even. <laughs> <go around. laughs> what do you yeah. mean you were going to touch I was, it? I was just going to be like, going right, to walk I down mean, there and touch yeah, the water. Yeah, and then that's anticlimactic. And then, look, dude. I start walking, and then I'm like. Yeah, this is very anticlimactic. Like, yeah. all these people there, I'm just, like, strolling down to the water. So I just started running. Well, here's another thing, too. It's like, the whole crowd is there to witness this. Yeah. And you just skate right by them, like, and then just go down to the beach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would, too. You've been working on this for exactly. days. He's yeah. having a beach day down there. I, like, that, to me, was the finish. So I didn't finish yet. Okay. Yeah. I had to get into the, you know, to the That's water. That's shots in the line right there. Yeah. Finish yeah. line. Did you, like, so did you literally touch the water here in Venice? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't jump in though. You were like yeah. came out yeah. and went straight. In. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. How many people reference the Forrest Gump? I just felt like skating. Like uh, too many to count. <laughs> <laughs> too many to count. That was the most heard thing throughout the whole trip. Yeah. What was the first thing you did when you were done, other than this? Um, that's a good question. Went up to the hotel. Yeah, just hung out with my girlfriend. Just yeah, got yeah. dinner, like relaxed. Call, like I haven't seen her in two months. You know. Yeah. 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 I would have just, I would have messed with some skaters and just like stopped and been like, well, kind of tired. I think I'll go home now. Yeah. This is, and this, the, that was actually a trip too, like just being bombarded by cameras after mm, being alone for yeah. two months. You know? Sensory overload a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Mm. And it almost felt like, it, like they were just like, I don't know, just like attacking me on the yeah. beach for my story. And then like once it was over, they just left. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Just like gone by, like yeah. no words afterwards. Nothing. Just like yeah. some, just sucking yeah. out yeah. Your, your whole being. <laughs> Imagine being a celebrity, like where they're just constantly trying to do this. Paparazzi. And bombard you. Yeah. yeah. Gosh. That's your homie with Six Sense right there. Yep. Huh? That's the guy making the doc. Yeah. Nice. nice. You got the good shot. Man, look, you got a little tan. You got a little farmer's tan. You got the tan line and yeah, everything. I got a little bit of everything. <laughs> it all grew. It all grew in. It was Amazing. kind of funny, too. All the reporters, like, they rushed me at the water. So all their feet just got soaked. I'm like laughing Amazing. the whole time they were interviewing me. Amazing. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, they are in the water. Huh? Comes with the territory, <laughs> I didn't realize bro. that. Yeah. Like a big wave comes in and like everyone's soaked. That's it. I love that. Yeah. Well, that's what they what get, did, man. What did you? Where, where's this board at right now? Uh, it's in the Smithsonian. Yeah, it's in my room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, just chilling. It should be yeah. like in a museum somewhere. Mm-hmm. I actually so two weeks after, like I hadn't looked at it. I went away, came back. And I was like, "Holy crap! How did I skate on that thing? Like it was just so beat." Yeah, every day I'm looking at it, so it wasn't a big deal. But like, mm, after yeah. taking the break and then looking at it, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I um and then also the so the mayor's giving the, giving this this speech and everything and they they named a day out, uh, after you yeah the Chad Caruso day crazy so rad the nineteenth what is it yeah May nineteenth May nineteenth yeah, yeah. you got to go down yeah. there every May May nineteenth then yeah I was You're, thinking maybe we'll do like a a skate like a five ten mile skate or something with locals I don't know that would be Raise money. actually mm-hmm. incredible Are, yeah. aren't you like traumatized from all the skating <laughs> yeah <laughs> like no more like, yeah. that's short though five ten minutes yeah. that's a lot that's, that's like, nothing yeah, that's nothing. yeah. yeah. That's easy. Got that. <laughs> that's in that's in his sleep right there. No, seriously. Yeah. Uh overwhelming because you didn't know any of this was going on. You just showed up and all of a sudden the mayor's saying this is Chad Caruso Day, yeah. blah, blah, blah. You're got reporters in your face. The mayor's he, didn't he, feel real. He didn't yeah. you didn't high five him, so maybe he's he's <laughs> yeah. a little he's a little burnt, he's a little bent. Yeah. yeah. Virginia Beach is an awesome city, dude. So I had no idea. Like they have a great skate scene there. Yeah. Everyone's super supportive. Why it's are you cool. ending there? Um, so Jackalope Fest was there and they were like the only people that sponsored the skate mm. so they were down and they were just that's kind of the reason I postponed it I was going to do it a year ago and they were like you want to wait and like end at the festival and I was that's like sick. you know I probably should that's a like, thing plan, plan things better and stuff yeah. and, that yeah, makes yeah. it way gnarlier though on your end yeah you, like you're like I have to get here on this yeah, day. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, then I changed it after a little bit. I was like, is it cool if I end like a week or two early? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna leave like a little cushion. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. Because I yeah. mean, you never know what can happen. Like you could get sick on the road. Like yeah. whatever. Like yeah. you know. I had no idea I was gonna be able to do it every day. Like I planned, but you know, 
I left that like two week space just in case. A little buffer. It's funny, yeah. man, because you were like, um, you were really holding the flag for beef jerky out there or uh, <laughs> Slim Jims. Yeah. <laughs> oh. and, uh, did so, they even reach out to you? Nothing. Uh, so, oh, the ocean well, spray guy. Oh my, oh got, he got a house. He <laughs> got <laughs> money. He just for yeah. doing the one TikTok. <laughs> I know, right? The ocean spray yeah. guy. <laughs> he even he was using copyrighted music. So saying. With Slim Jim, Matt. No, all, yeah. like a bunch of my viewers were messaging me and telling me they were writing long emails. To like, them. Trying to like pitch me, basically. And sure. get me like, yeah, nothing. nothing. And then one time I posted this really funny like story. I was like, I was like, you got to make sure you're eating healthy out here. Kept a straight face and just like ate beef jerky. Yeah. So they reposted it on their story. Oh, thanks. But no one reached out. No one answered. I messaged them back afterwards. Wow. Nothing. No Except answer. with a box. So, yeah. Uh, Give them. <laughs> yeah. They're probably out of touch, At that point, dude. I was, but halfway through, I was like, I was done beef jerky. How many followers yeah. is, does Slim Jim have? I think over a million. I'm not sure exactly. That's, a million yeah, people yeah. follow <laughs> beef, <laughs> some, <laughs> some beef jerky yeah. on it. Uh, they have uh, an out of touch marketing team, apparently, because yeah. that doesn't make no <laughs> sense. Like, yeah. All that, and there was a, like a people, yeah. mad people hitting them up. Like, come it on, felt man. like a layup. Like I was doing these kind of funny yeah. things, like hanging out. Like, you know, at least to, like support the GoFundMe. Like, do some. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. The ocean spray guy got. He got Endless a new car. Things. He got a house. Yeah, he, got, he got a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Changed his life. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta pick this. Gotta pick a good song for it, though, dude. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Probably should have done it like one of those videos, but with the beef jerky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. If you would have ended it with the beef jerky, like into the water with beef yeah. jerky, that could have. Well, not, or hey, yeah. man, they, they didn't support me all the time. I'm not, I'm not waving that flag. Yeah, not, yeah. 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 not no more. They had yeah, their beef jerky's out. Yeah. Man. Well. What's the next one? Uh, we could some good. There's some. We got to get a, a good sponsor for you. You know, really good Tra trail mix, like something, yeah, something that you know, yeah. Cliff yeah. Bar. Yeah, Cliff, Cliff, bar. Seen Cliff bars for yeah. sure. You yeah, need to sure. reach out to anybody for sponsorship or like, hey, I'm doing this thing. Yeah, you send, wanna... me, send me Mad Cliff bars yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I had like a professional, like that guy, um, John from Six Sense. He made me like a little thing to little like a three minute trailer to okay. send to people. Uh, no one was Queen. nobody. Ca Camelback, no, nobody. Adidas, no. Are you wow. uh, kidding? Me? And I was, yeah, yeah, nothing. Wow. You serious right now? Yeah. You said, hey, I'm going to skateboard across the USA, 3,000 miles, 50-something miles a day. I'm going to be using your product all the time. I'm going to be making daily YouTube videos, and nobody sent you Psycho. anything? No. That is, I mean, SKF sent me some bearings. <laughs> that's great. Bearings. Yeah. But, well, you know, and then as it went along, people, not even that many people, but some people were trying to send me product. And at what that kind point, of product I was like, you know, I was halfway though. through, and I yeah. was like, I don't know. what kind of product are we talking about? Though? Like sunglasses, or ah. you know, uh, Oakley, sunscreen, yeah. Ray Bans, that you're, that you're stuff like that. Yeah. But you know, at that point, I was already like so locked into my program. I feel you. And, I feel you. you know, like, change. You don't want to change anything up, or, yeah. uh, but still, that and that's like actually free advertising, basically. You know, it what makes, I mean? it's like like it actually know. makes me yeah. angry that a lot of these companies wouldn't uh, do anything with you. I mean, Adidas, they're in the skateboarding lane. Yeah. Like, come on, like send send this guy some shoes. Well, I get disappointing. Well, I get bro flow. You know, I don't. But you know, disappointing is the word I would say for myself, <laughs> just because of the fact that obviously you're not knowing how this is gonna all like pan out, understandably. But like, this doesn't happen every day. Someone doesn't hit you up every day, especially with a reel showing you, hey, like this is what we're gonna be doing. Right. And I have some like a little bit of credibility. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, dude, I've done yeah, something yeah. like that before, so it's like, right. You know, not only credibility, but you are a skateboarder. Right, you're not just some dude who's like a rock climber and wants to gain attention by grabbing a longboard and trying to do this thing that goes across the country. You know what I mean? Like yeah. for us skateboarders, yeah, that's awesome you did that, but that's whack to us. You know what I mean? Like we want a real skateboarder that represents us to go out and do this. And the fact that no other company saw that, I, I disappointing is the right word. Like mm -hmm. huge. That sucks. Yeah. I try not to focus on it and just focus on like I'll, what I'll focus I do. On what, it for you. <laughs> yeah. What the things I can control. And, yeah. But yeah, the, these companies the reason, don't know, they don't know about skating. Yeah. Though, but the reason why know? it frustrates me is because like you see all this stupid shit on social media, you know, you see all these companies dumping the stupidest shit right. on people. <laughs> Into like something. You random. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that, that's like, what makes yeah, me yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and here's this guy yeah. doing a real thing that's going out there and raising money for drug uh, awareness and all this stuff like that. Yeah. And you can't, you can't send me a box. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why not? 
I'm sorry, Dubs, but yeah, that no, just makes I, me I mad. Yeah. And then after the fact, they might jump on ship after you already accomplished it. And oh, that, great. that's even more so. You're like, damn, bro, like now you want to jump on ship? Right. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm thankful makes, that you yeah. really want to help support now, but I mean, come on, where were you a little, little while ago? Right. <laughs> Listen, damn. it's just the support too. It's support. You're going to do this thing, you know, like you need gear, you need a camelback, you need right. stuff to survive out there, you know? It's like, hey, come on. Yeah. Dude, Cliff I thought it was surprising. I mean, like, <sighs> camelback, like, they're a part of the whole trip. Like, they're yes. on my back the yeah. whole time. I'm referencing it, you know? So, yeah. Cliff Bar yeah, would have been you know. a great one, too. Like, yeah. Yeah. Cliff Bar would have been. I'm surprised they didn't. They actually spawned, well, they just hooked me up with some Cliff Bars for the 50 States thing. Because mm -hmm. I had a friend that worked there, okay. but he didn't work there anymore. Mm. So, mm. Uh, But that wasn't like anything. Yeah, just a little bit saying. of product. Yeah, things, yeah. things will get lost in the sauce. I mean, again, these are big corporate companies. And if they don't have anybody that's like in tune to like anything going on that could possibly be moving to, for the brand, like that's when they lost. They might have some dude that's just doesn't really get it you know what i mean yeah. i don't know dude I would, i'd love to work for a brand like cliff bar and like oh and, and, and to be honestly and like and try to do something good in the skate community mm -hmm. would be I pretty think they cool do have a, i think they do have people down there that are, are involved with skating that's a thing I sure. was it was andy mack sponsored by him am i tripping there's a, there's a couple was. people huh wasn't huff sponsored that sounds by familiar, him. yeah huff was sponsored by cliff bar was he, was he? i think so hmm. Andy Mack doesn't sound, I mean, doesn't sound too far off of his. But I feel like they know. could. I mean, it doesn't, it it doesn't conflict with Sobe at all. No, for sure. You know. <laughs> or, or, exactly. or Skittles. Or yeah, Skittles. Skittles. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, I don't know. It's kind of frustrating to hear that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Honestly, it ended up being cooler that I figured it out on my own. For sure. And everyone was a part of it. Yeah. Rather than some brands like, you know, yeah. having to shout them out. But, that, but that's the thing, just, though, is like yeah. you are, it's sorry to cut you off. You're yeah. using stuff that you actually absolutely like enjoy using. Like you're not just yeah. buying Slim Jims to like try to get sponsored by Slim Jim. Like yeah. you, you, that's what you needed to get through. I'm also giving them the, the test that they'll never get ever. Like, right. Yeah. yeah. How are you going to test these wheels 3,000 miles? Yeah. It's true. You know, or bearings or yeah. whatever it is, you know. But I mean, I, mean, I was, I was surprised actually that you did this in like, yeah, you're completely just in black. There's no logos. <laughs> like, dude, that's not, the, yeah. when I hear this, I'm like, oh, this person is probably like a freaking race car driver. Logoed out. Just like logoed <laughs> out going yeah. across, but you're just chilling, dude. Yeah. yeah. Hey, dude, that's Soul Skater right there. Yeah. You know? You just make it happen. You yeah, have no did. money. <laughs> like, you know, I didn't even have much money for this trip. I had like a couple of grand. Same thing as the last one, too. So you just had the idea, thought it was cool, and make it yeah. happen, you know? Yeah. Figure it out. Now the GoFundMe seemed to obviously they they yeah. they helped out tremendously, which is yeah. rare. Couldn't believe the support. Did you ever sleep outside at all? Never. Okay, so you always stayed at a, yeah. always at a hotel. Yeah. Okay. And it'd be rough, like, cause I need the charge number one to do the vlog, mm. um, and then just like sweating all day, kind of cold, like editing yeah. out there in a sleeping bag. You gotta wash your yeah. clothes too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you're washing your clothes every day at the hotel. Every night. Yeah. Right. Yep. That's so sick. Which people kind of like tripped on. They thought it was like gross you know, mm -hmm. watching washing your clothes in the hotel every night. Right, right, I right. never thought about it. We used, to, we used to wash our clothes at hotels yeah. uh, on tour. 1,000%. Not What's at every stop, that? but yeah. we would wash right. when yeah, we needed to. Was, yeah. 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 Oh, but since you wow. didn't bring any, you do it every day. In exactly, that sense. yeah. yeah. Yep. We well, had two outfits, right? So you yeah. would switch, and I guess. Towards um, How would you? maybe halfway through, I threw one out. Mm. So I just had the one outfit and a pair of shorts. Why'd you throw one out? Wait. I didn't need it. Yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, space. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so second leg. You got got to go. <laughs> exactly. Got to get out. Start getting used to things. You yeah. know? I'm just like, all right, I could basically. Yeah, I don't need it. Wash it every night. I'm good. So good. Do you ever get smoked at all? Like it's, you shit. Like two or three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did made it pretty good, but like one time, I just like stepped off weird, and my foot landed on the nose instead of like. Mm. Getting all yeah, so I wasn't expecting it, and I just belly flopped flat on my face. Oh. All the stuff flew out of my bag into the grass, <laughs> scuffed up like my elbows. Did you get that footage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's well, a, not. I got like the afterwards picking everything up. I wasn't recording. <laughs> He's like, oh, hey, hold on, this is good content yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, let, yeah, me put, yeah. let me get the <laughs> camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get my little setup shot. Let me run across the street. Yeah. Let me get my little exactly. Shit. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Wow. You couldn't keep the camera running twenty four seven, right? No. Obviously, yeah. you'd just you'd see opportunity to film and you'd take it. Yeah, right? yeah, it was tough. Like I had to figure out how much to film because mm. at the end of the day, it would be 
go through two hours of footage, one hour of footage. Like, yeah. it makes a difference what you're filming. So I'd be more selective towards the end. I was going to ask, yeah. towards the end, really? Well, like, towards, like, the middle, middle I guess. You yeah, started yeah. to kind of figure out what Yeah, gauging. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're editing already probably, what, 20-something videos. So you're like, oh, okay, yeah. I don't need all this. You start, like, I didn't have a format, so it just kind of started figuring it out itself, mm -hmm. you know? And then you just get better and better at it, mm -hmm. doing it every day. What the memory situation? I mean, the 50 States one, you yeah. ran up pretty quick, right? Yeah. Same with this, actually, too. It was yeah. kind of frustrating. I had to keep... I, like, was deleting footage as I go. Mm. And most people, when they hear that, they're like, what? Just, like, deleting yeah. all this, like, footage, you know? Gosh. That is kind of crazy. Like yeah. I said, I just... Like, I mean, you could, there's only something... I mean, you could look through it, but yeah. you might have something really dope that you just erased. I'll save... Like, if something's, like, special, I'll save that. But, right. Well, at least you, you have know. the catalog on the YouTube right. of it. So true. That's the way yeah, I look at true. it. It's yeah. up there. For and, sure. But know. the raw footage, you know, like, if they're, like... If the guy's editing your the yeah. documentary, he's <laughs> like, hey, do you have uh, this? Yeah. And you're like, mm, no, I deleted it. Yeah. yeah. He's just, I mean, the cloud. You could... What about uploading? I have, I have the maximum for the cloud, two terabytes, filled it up. <laughs> Very quickly. <laughs> there's other yeah, yeah, yeah. There's other cloud <laughs> stuff you could do. There's Is Dropbox. There? There's Google. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, look I into thought, Dropbox. Just, it's a good idea. Yeah. Out there, I was just like, couldn't mm. even like look up stuff. I was so busy. Yeah, you know I'm, I mean? sure, I'm sure a lot Frazzled. of uh, Locked in. internet yeah. wasn't the best out there too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, some of the times uploading was like, I'd have to start skating for the day and I couldn't get the video up. Mm. I wouldn't know what to do. Like, do I start skating? Do I, like, oh, what do I, you know? Okay. So then I'd upload two, three hours late, try to skate to a gas station, use their Wi Fi. Like, wow. you know. Are you all editing this on uh, iMovie? So, my whole YouTube channel since like seven years ago, everything on the iPhone <laughs> film, edited, upload, thumbnails, every single thing. That's impressive. Yeah, it is impressive. Yeah. That's all I had. I was had those DVDs. I was completely broke. Leased the phone. I couldn't even afford it. I was just oh. like, I need this to like pursue my passion. And um, You leased the kept, phone, yeah. dude. I couldn't even afford it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yep. So committed, dude. That is that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah. though. Not even okay. Seven plus when it first came out. <laughs> what about so do you have now doing it? Are you like, hey, let's maybe get a computer involved? Well, if I did this trip with a computer, I don't think I could have. Yeah, that Carrying makes sense. It, like iPad. Switching the... What about um, an iPad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Possibly. Maybe, but then you're like... It's extra weight like, on your thing, too. Kid comes up saying what's up while you're skating, and you're just like holding this giant <laughs> yeah, iPad yeah, everywhere. True, you know what I mean? True, it's true, like true. the phone's very subtle. I, could, on I this, like that. I'm talking to people, and sometimes I don't even know no I'm idea. recording, so yeah. it's very natural. Yep. So mm -hmm. I kind of like that. On this trip, it makes sense for just the iPhone, but yeah. like 50 states... I could see maybe using yeah, an, uh, but even laptop. like getting all the footage to a computer takes right. time, and yeah. you know, I mean, it's right on my phone, like For directly sure. into the iMovie. Interesting. Right. I guess you get adapted to it too. I mean, yeah, to yeah. me, it sounds oh, insane. It we use <laughs> we use <laughs> Premiere here, yeah, you yeah. know. So and we and we came from you know, I it was like iMovie, Final Cut, Premiere, and yeah. now Premiere is a thing. Now there's like DaVinci Resolve, but um, yeah, it just sounds insane. Yo, all I my guess, friends that edit are like, you're out of your mind. Yeah. <laughs> but I got the system down and it's really easy. I don't have to take it off the phone. So, yeah. yeah, it works for you. And I feel mean. like a lot of people nowadays do it that way. Sure. It's gotten more you know, common. So yeah. when you're editing though, are you editing uh, in sequence of, of the day also? Or are you like maybe moving some stuff around here Basically, and there too? Basically, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, Sometimes in 50 states, I would move things around. Gotcha. Here and there right. if it like, just didn't make sense, sense in the storyline, mm. you know? I mean, it's editing, you know? Sometimes you, oh, this would go good right over here. Right. Mm -hmm. Like this, oh, this, I said this over here, and that could be a good intro for the, you know, whatever. Yeah. Man, well, keep doing what you're doing, dude, man. Because so uh, amazing. Dude. Dude, keep skating, dude. I basically said, America. like, you, yeah, you flew out here, and then <laughs> you, you flew out here, and then basically skated back home. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yep. Oh, gosh. What Are you, you still do? in Long Island? Or, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I live in Long Island. Okay. Still there. Wow. What do you do now with your YouTube channel? Now that you're not doing this, are you just chilling on YouTube? I'm, I haven't done anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't skated, made a video, nothing. Um, I like I messed around on the board the other day, and it felt so weird. Yeah. Just like going from mm. giant wheels and tighter trucks to like looser trucks, totally. whole wheels. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it felt so uncomfortable. You gotta get your legs back. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. This mm -hmm. is uh, YouTube is such a funny thing, man. Like, and it's hard to see kind of uh, by at the screen we have. We have it's not the biggest screen, but mm -hmm. um, you know, here you are, two years ago, three years ago, doing a skate vlog. I mean, we're getting one hundred seventy-four thousand views. We're getting a hundred two hundred thousand views. That, I mean, that's nothing. Yeah. In skating, that's it's a lot. Yeah. 
that's a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be over time too. You know, they oh, wouldn't take off like that, like right away. No, a hundred percent. But 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 my point is, is like, and here you are skating across America, thirty five k, thirty three k, thirty eight k, thirty five. I assumed that all the views would be way higher. Mm. But yeah. it, again, it is skating, and we are in this little niche of a of a of a market. You know. Yeah, some people say my thumbnails because I don't do like crazy kind of mm. clickbaity. You know, oh. I just I just basically grab any snapshot because I have no time. Right. I'm just like yeah, whatever. That's right. it. It's so. true. Back, the back, moth back one. Yeah. Well, you know? no, no, <laughs> no, I did the moth one. Yeah. Let, let, but let's look at this really quick because this is interesting because uh, sometimes it's it's even just the title uh, drags people in. Let me see here. Oh, I think look at this one. I changed my mind. One hundred ninety nine thousand, and it's because of the wheels. Exactly, yeah. It's because yeah. of the wheels, man. You couldn't have anybody. Oh man, I feel like, I feel like you're right. I feel like it's the thumbnail and the title. I feel like if you had somebody back home that you could work with, yeah. and send footage to, and send pictures, and send stuff to mock up like right. daily thumbnails, I feel like you could have for sure. Do you think? Because a lot of people do that. I mean, a lot of people mm. have. Uh, people they work with. Do you think capitalize if, on that moment? If yeah. you made new ones, it would help out at all. Like, because you can add some on there now, can't you? You yeah. can change it. Up, I right? think. So. Yeah, it's possible. Definitely. Do you think, if, yeah. Chris? Do you think if he did that, it would help it anyway? But see, he's got to make fifty-seven new thumbnails. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that, that's for a sure. lot of work. No and doubt. like thumbnails are probably the hardest part. Y you look at channels, even like you know, Mr. Beast. He's one of the biggest YouTubers out there, and they still spend a lot of money and a lot of time on their thumbnails when they could just post a black black picture and get 2200 million views, 1000 million billion views, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, that definitely makes a difference. It I does. just I kind of enjoy doing everything by myself and like being forced to learn all those things For and sure. get better at it. But. Right. Well, when you do something new, you yeah. could then maybe <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we're not, we're, listen, I'm not trying to Put this. Down. I'm just. I. Oh no. I, yeah. I, I thought the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I feel like more people should be watching this, man. Like these are these are the types of journeys that, like, even if you're not a skateboarder, you could watch this and appreciate yeah, definitely. it, and you know, learn about something. Right. I could tell through the comments that there were a lot of non-skaters also watching too. Right? right. Right. Yeah. Well, I I don't I don't do a lot of things, but I watch it on YouTube. I right. don't I don't do woodworking, but I watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Like I I don't do restoration but I, I watch it on youtube like it's just very interesting stuff i admire the aspect that you you want to do it on your on your own and and figure out like if it is the thumbnail then i'm gonna figure that out yeah, yeah. and i'm gonna it's also it's kind of dumb too if like if that's the difference between me making a living off it really of it, is you know I mean? don't get me wrong yeah. it really is but that it's crazy yeah. that that stuff does yeah. work yeah you know it's true YouTube is an interesting place you know we could sit here and talk about youtube all day long but at the end of the day um I just say, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Keep learning. Straight up. You know what I mean? Like keep, I mean, that's what we do here. You know, we have our clips channel and we always experiment with thumbnails and, and titling and different things like that. Cause we have, you know, we, we take, we pull from content and make a little snackable content over there. Every podcast does it. Yeah. So it's always an interesting thing to try to learn and you're never going to, it's one, some things you're like, oh, this is going to be good. People are just a lot. Of people yep. like, and then you post it and you're like, Damn, that's just got like 2,000 views. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the it's heck? What the went wrong yeah. right here? Mm -hmm. It's always the one you don't expect, too, that takes off. Right. And, yeah. Uh, shorts are really good, too. <laughs> shorts. Do you, do, you, do you mess with the shorts at all? Not really. Mm. I uploaded a couple of okay. old tutorials I did, but nothing mm. crazy. So at the present moment, you have no, um, you have no, like, you don't have anything else planned. Um, or maybe you do. No, mm. not not really. Just okay. working on that okay. show, the documentary. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I throw contests like back in Long Island, so sick. Just get like prepare for that stuff. Dope. I get been helping get skate parks built in my area, so just local stuff like that. I love that. that. Yeah. Rad. Mm. So what about no YouTube stuff though at the moment? You're just kind of taking a little break from that. Yeah, a little mm -hmm. break. I I like to only make videos when I'm like psyched about something. You know, yeah. like I really need to be like <clears throat> really into it. Right. right. So. That makes sense. Here's the thing, though. Is you're a great skateboarder. You know, you come from a great background of, of friends who, you know, filmers who made it in the yeah. <laughs> industry, right? Yeah. Um, I, I, I feel like YouTube is the future of where we're going with skating. I mean, it's already here, to be yeah. honest with you. You have Tom Asta, who's actually getting into it now. He's doing a phenomenal job. 
And um, I just like to see, I like to see it. You know, I, I like to see you killing it on there. I like to see, uh, it's just, it's an interesting thing because we didn't live through it. Totally. You know, when we were coming up, it wasn't a thing. Yeah. And when it became a thing, it was very frowned upon. And to put yourself out there like that or YouTube or vlog or do whatever it is, it's like, you just, you didn't. Yeah. You I'm didn't. 36. So I kind of came with the same. Right. You know, yeah. it was right? definitely a learning curve. I think it was when I got away from skating a little bit, I kind of forgot about all that, like mm. it's frowned upon. Like, you know, when I came back, it was just clear. Right. Um, I'll just try this out, whatever. Yeah. But and, it, and it was fine. Like yeah. at the end of the day, like you look I, I want to have a YouTube, but then I don't because it, it takes a lot to run your YouTube. You know what I mean? 100%. Like, it, and it's a, it's a job in itself. It is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't think that I want to take on something like that unless I had help. You right. Know what I mean? what's or the, you what's would... the channel, Jarrell? What? What's the channel? What would you do? What, what would my channel be? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Dubs, come take a ride with Dubs. <laughs> 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 I'm subscribed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Let's oh, start this. You know I'm subscribing right now. <laughs> Take a ride with Dad. So what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Uh, that's you you caught me on the spot. I don't know. No, that's, like a, that's, that's, that's a good <laughs> one. Take yeah. a ride with Dad. Listen, we just came from a different era, you yeah. know. And nowadays, I think that it's more open. Yeah. But also, you know, it took it took me a long time to also kind of not worry about what other people think. Yeah. And listen, I th we're all human. I think we all still think a little bit that way. You know, sure. I think there is, it is, is embedded in our brain because we are in a small industry. It's a big industry, but it's very small. It's yeah. very small. So every step that you take in this industry, it's, it's a big step, even though it's small, you know, and yeah. it's, it's very widely talked about. It's, you could be, you know, really brought taken you know chastised for it or whatever um uh, talk shit about but at the end of the day this is our life it's not their life and there's a lot of things that you can do like tom asta i love the fact that he's taking everything into his own hands because he's probably gonna be making more money on youtube than he is just <coughs> skateboarding with his regular sponsors mm -hmm. and tom asta is an insanely talented skateboarder yes, he is. who should be making tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars off of skateboarding right but yeah. he can make it on both now too which is awesome yeah, right he can he's still sponsored right and but make his own it's also going to be he's taking it into his own hands right if yeah, something exactly happened right. taking out the middleman yes yep if something happened he's got it yep. yep he doesn't have to start from scratch he's already i mean look at this he's he's already doing it man look at this 26k 31k 11k you know what i mean yeah, like mm -hmm. that's perfect he's doing it so I applaud everybody that takes the, takes the steps and puts themselves out there like that because I think it's rad, you know? And I think it's just, it's just the way it is right now. Dubs. I think we started taking the steps, I mean, I'm going to say like 12 years ago with social media because that's when we kind of started stepping out of ourselves and posting ourselves. You know what I'm saying? That like, was the hardest thing. People had the hardest time <laughs> posting about themselves. Yeah. 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 Like, why would you? I remember I got shit a so, lot. Yeah, yeah. I was it's like, yo, what do you mean? What If you're going to follow... Me? What do you want to see? Other people? <laughs> yeah. I don't, why, why would I? I don't understand that. That's what I, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So like, I think having that be the 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 beginning steps of like really displaying. You know, I think that kind of opened the door for people to start doing YouTube and being more comfortable. Because there is quite a few people that are doing YouTube now that you might not, you know, know that are doing it. You know, P Rod's on there. Deshaun jo uh, Deshaun Jordan's on there. There's a lot of people that are really pushing the envelope of, of having a YouTube. Well, and, Paul's and had updated. his I know, but what I'm saying is you might, some people might not know that, yeah. you know? and but, but Paul had his, he would have other people on doing, there. Yes. Yeah, like he wouldn't, he wouldn't be in the video sometimes. And right? he ain't, right. don't, mind you, he's not doing his YouTube. Like someone's doing that for, oh, for oh, sure. For Spanish, sure. right? You know? But he's also doing stuff like, you know, yeah. unboxing videos, right? Yes. And like people will be like, uh, Paul's doing unboxing videos. Listen, that video is not for you. That video exactly. is for the little kid out there that, exactly. that it loves Paul and loves the brand and see what he has in his box. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like so That's one of the best parts of YouTube. Like that whole journey of like learning to not care what people think. Right. And uploading every day, like fifty days in a row and hearing all the chatter and stuff. It's like you learn a lot. You sure. Yeah, sure. Totally. You learn that a lot of people's <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> shit that comes out of their mouth is just garbage. Yeah, people are giving me advice on how to skate across the country when like three <laughs> people did it ever. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, I was able to see right through it. You're just like, what? Yeah. Like, I don't know. like, they all care. They're trying to be help out. But, what right, advice, you know, you what advice are they giving you, dude? I don't know, all sorts of stuff. Bro, yeah. even when you, everybody becomes a doctor when you're sick. You know, yeah. like, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta do yeah. this, you gotta do oh, this. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Bro, I'm like four. I, I've been sick before. I know what to do. Mm. We'll be good. Yeah, I'll be good. I'm gonna drink a lot of juice. I'm gonna <laughs> get some chicken noodle soup. You know. Uh, listen, Chad, amazing stuff. I will, thank you so much for coming on the show mm -hmm. because, like, thank I, you guys, I, I love you. the journey yeah, and I man. love that that um, that you did it. You know, and uh, a skater out there that is killing it that just did this and accomplished it and. Now we got a Chad Caruso day in Virginia Beach, huh? How about that? Hey, How about that? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I appreciate you guys having me on and for everything sure. you guys do for skateboarding, interviewing everyone. Yeah, yeah. Listen. yeah. It's a lot of hard work. It's skating, man. As long as we're having fun doing it, then we'll keep doing it. That's you know? that I think that's the, uh, the main thing. But can we give you some Nine Club stuff to skate home with? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> my, my first real sponsor. Thank yeah. You. yeah. We got you, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get him some Yeti stuff. Get yeah. him some shit. He's got to stay hydrated out there. Fuck yeah. him oh, back, yeah. dude. He's going to take, <laughs> yeti. take a Yeti next time, all right? What size oh, yeah. uh, What size t-shirts? Uh, large. Large, cool. No, no. What size hoodies? Hoodie, yeah. 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 I'm done with the hoodie. No, no, no. Hoodie? Okay. Yeah. Tees from now on. Oh my god! So we're good now. The body's good. You you feel great. Is there yeah. anything any lingering effects? Yeah, uh, the Achilles and the arches of my feet still. I'm doing like a lot of stretches every day. Mm -hmm. Probably okay. like ninety percent now healed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so getting back. Okay. Yeah. One uh, piece of advice that I can give you for the Achilles is, uh, you know, the runner stretch where you put your hands on the wall yeah. and stretch out because a lot of Achilles injuries come from tight calves. Yep. So do my research, get yeah, those calves yeah, yeah, loosened yeah, yeah, up yeah, and you're yeah. good to go. You should talk to, um, I, he's out here on the West coast, but Dr. Kyle Brown, yes. uh, Walker Amazing. Ryan's, uh, he's a physical therapist. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll give you his number. He's yeah, a great dude to talk good to dude, bro. and, um, works with a lot of skaters and he has too. a YouTube. He does. He has a YouTube mm -hmm. channel. Yep. They're, they're old friends, YouTube. Okay. Great, great dude. Yeah. Um, so do you want to just become get a hundred percent before you start skating again? Because I know you said you didn't. I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just about ready. Nice. Where are we going? Yeah. Where are we skating at? What's the first spot? Oh, uh, courthouse. <laughs> get the, uh, the manual fair. There he is. Wait, no, I can't do any manual tricks, honestly. When you're out here, though, what, are you gonna? You're not gonna skate. You didn't bring your board. Uh, I brought my board. Okay. Yeah, but you know, I just proposed to my girlfriend. So yeah, go kind skate. of more hanging a little no, bit. No, go yeah. skate. Have a good yeah, time. Bring her to Venice Park. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a more vacation time on. Yeah. This time around. Because you're out here for like a week, right? Or three or four days? Um, I'm leaving Thursday. So Thursday. A couple of days. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'll okay. squeeze in a session. So when you're back home, what's a daily routine? Um, See, so yeah, I run a food truck, like a taco truck. So awesome. do that like on the weekends, occasional weekday. Okay. And then, yes, yeah, like make YouTube videos or stuff like that the other nice. days. Are you, uh, do you wake up early? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wake up like seven no okay. alarm, like every day. Really? On the skate across America, I was waking up at like 5 a.m. Because I knew I had to finish editing the video, so I would just like... Yeah, you'd be like... What? Right. Shit, <laughs> gotta go. You know? but are you setting yeah. an alarm for yeah. 5 a.m.? Or are you just... I would set it, but I would wake up like 4.50. I would just like pop up. What time are you going to bed, though, on 12. those trips? Wait a minute. You're going... Thank I would you. edit, hour. Yeah, I would edit till 12. Okay. And, you know, try to get as much done as I can. Basically, be like falling asleep, dropping the phone on my face. Wake up five. Five is like normal. Six. That's not even yeah. eight hours of sleep, though. No. Yeah. You need eight hours. Apparently you not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they say that, but you can, the body, you, you need surprised. to talk to Andrew Huberman because yeah. he's uh, eight hours. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. Get wait, wait. I would have never finished the strip in 57 yeah. days, though, with eight hours. What did, did you <laughs> listen? <laughs> did you listen to any podcasts or music? Did I thought I would listen to more, but I actually listened to no podcasts like the whole time and music like 30% of the time after a while it's just like I don't know it's just like it's so much how much music can you listen to you know yeah. I mean? it's like all day long yeah but how much sure. yeah. like is it just you you want to be th there when exactly. you're doing it yeah I want to be present present yeah, yeah. Um, I would use the music for like hills get a little extra motivation you know right. what I mean uh. <laughs> put on some iron put yeah, on yeah. some iron maiden exactly you know? some tower cause it's skate uphill put the rocky I mean? theme yeah, song yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean if there's some dope like views and stuff then you could throw on something cool right. you know yeah. what I mean exactly <laughs> you know what I mean? wasn't doing it every second but like there's moments where it makes the moment 
kind Look of at this beautiful. Yeah. I'm putting on Enya right now. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you Who probably saw. I'm, yeah. I'm putting on know. Christopher Cross sailing. Like, you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you probably saw some cool sunsets. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, that's been really Every cool. night. Yeah. yeah. Listen, Chad. Dude, pleasure to meet Thank you, you, dude. So much, bro. Bro. Nice hey, nice thank you so you, much for uh, for doing what you do, dude. Yes, it's bro. awesome, man. Like I said, for just a, a skater to go out there and do the damn thing, it's really impressive, man. So yeah, man. hats Appreciate off to that. you, man. Thank you guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, next road trip, Nine Club Thermos. Here you go. Yeah, Yeti, boom. we got you. It's nice. $20 yeah. for the cover of Thrasher. All right. You coming on the next skate or what? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you should travel like country to country or something like yeah. that and do something. I mean, that'd be like a little expensive. Pushing or? No, or just, just skating, tricks. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Because you're yeah. a fucking yeah. good skater, dude. I'm not just know, saying that. Bro. I was like fully impressed how good you are. Really? Yeah. yeah. So it'd be cool. That's what I'm right. saying. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt your gift. Yeah. No, I, it's, I mean, dude, you got to give due where, where dues do. You know what yes. I'm saying, Dubs? No doubt. Take a ride with Dubs. Let's go. Uh, here's uh, we, can, we can do that <laughs> on my U new YouTube. Come uh, yeah. soon. Some stance socks to keep your little uh, tootsies nice. warm right there. <laughs> Oh, and uh, here's the stickers for the next board. Listen, we we got your back. Next little thing you're right. doing, we got you, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. I think so, we can help along that process, yeah, too, for yeah, sure. Yeah, appreciate that. For that sure. Means a lot. I mean, to be honest with you, we, we heard about your journey, you know. Uh, it's funny, because like, we didn't really... It was kind of... Um, was it not during the, our experience show? When it we was did the live play? show. It was, it was the, the first show. live show yeah, we, we did. On it, yeah. We did. We touched on it the first live show. Mm -hmm. Uh, but but when it was going on, yeah. I don't think we were doing no. a, a kind of a, a live mm -hmm. show. It was after yeah. the fact. Yeah, I appreciate you guys just shouting it out at all, man. having me on. Yeah, oh, dude. dude. It means amazing, a lot, man. bro. Here's some stickers for the. You could, we'll give you yeah. more to slap on every sign that you go past cool. on every highway. You know what it's I mean? Perfect. <laughs> and here's a mug, our motto here, man. Always 1,000% skater supporting skaters. Yes. That is what we are all about over and here. And they, awesome. they did Thank show you. up at the end of, you know, when you finished, bro. And it was beyond skaters, which is rad, you know? Yeah. So shout out to everybody yeah. that showed up for him, bro. That's 100%. really dope. The skate community was definitely, they supported me throughout, man. Yeah. yeah. yeah it was awesome. Dude, it was Super funny dope. because, like, I, 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 I didn't follow your journey every episode, right? But I did, you know, look at a bunch of stuff here and there. And when we were doing our live show, it was the first show that we did. I, I, I had thought, I'm like, oh, I got to shout out Chad Caruso. He's doing this, he did this rad thing. And the people that are behind you, like they were mad at me for not like really? having, they, they let you know. not knowing <laughs> as much as I knew. Really? Yeah, they were like, dude, you got to, you you got to have this guy on. You, you didn't know that. You didn't know this. You didn't know that. He did this. And I'm like, dude, I was just shouting him out. I just thought it was doing so a funny. rad thing. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't really like yeah. up to par with everything that he did, you know? Yeah, that's funny. But yeah, sometimes you get hung up on details, but people had we were back. hanging out every day, 57 days in a row, you know? There you go. We all became good yeah. friends. People, yeah. had you, people have your back, dude. Straight and up, we got man. your back now. Yes, so dude. we're going to put this on your back. It's a <laughs> not, It's not a hoodie. But it's a nice crew neck sweater right there. Nice for my neck skate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Did you, uh, Chris, <laughs> made a joke of like slapping stickers up. Did you ever do anything in when you stopped uh, like to leave a mark on certain places? Does that make sense? Like, yeah, nothing actually. No, I didn't even think about that. I was so focused. I yeah. didn't even, like think. Yeah, because it's like the little trail of like. Yeah, I don't I know. Feel like a lot of people would have done that. <laughs> yeah. I just didn't even. Yeah, I was just uh, so focused you, on what yeah, I was doing. Just, it seemed like, yeah. yeah. You, the mission, the mission <laughs> yeah. was to finish this damn thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to make it that wedding. That was, that was about it. But it's a long time to think, though, when you're by yourself and you're on these long stretches. I mean, like, some of my best ideas I come up with, I'm in the shower, right? I'm, just, I'm in the shower. I'm alone. I'm one. I'm with my. I'm just by myself. <laughs> I'm alone. You're not with anyone else. I'm just alone. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's when you learn everything. I come out refreshed, <laughs> yeah. invigorated. Ooh, you know, new guy. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, did you? A lot of thinking, right? Did you? I, I mean, you're not thinking about. What are you thinking about? Are you just? Yeah. Um. Like. I what? mean. I would try to just be observing like what's going on, trying to be in okay. the moment. But okay. obviously you get like 10 hours of silence a day. You're going to get hit with like some stories from your past. Like, so, you know, you, well, you're going to sure. learn all that stuff about yourself though. That's the thing. And if you use music, mm -hmm. you kind of like block it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're not going to tell us what you're going to do next. <laughs> just have to wait. I know there what you, you do. I know what you do. <laughs> Take a ride with dubs. That's, That's next. Right. I do that. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> What's the one thing you learned from that whole trip that stands out the most? I think, honestly, what you were saying about the YouTube and, like, not caring what people think. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. been an evolution with that, but just, like, seeing all the comments all day long and, like, just 
knowing what I'm doing is right because it's mm -hmm. what I'm doing. It's what I want to do. And yeah. Everyone's going to have their own opinion and, and yeah, just learning to follow what you want to do. Was there a lot of like weird comments and negative shit? I mean, there would be waves. Like people would be like every day telling me to change my wheels or to wear a vest mm. or, you know, some people wear a vest. said you're going to get humbled. You're not going to make it like. Mm. Really? Yeah. The naysayers. It wasn't like a lot. Majority of the comments were positive. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. We, yeah. All, we all know yeah. that. Yeah. We all know that. But Just there were some ones. for sure. Yeah. Here's the thing that you got to realize that we still realize this to this day is like something's going on with that person. You know right. what I mean? Like they're having a bad day, they're not in the right place of, of with their lives. Because like, I don't know anybody in my whole life that goes around leaving negative comments. You know what I mean? Same. Like everybody is it pretty much right? Mm -hmm. You sometimes yeah. you dubs you leave. <laughs> well, especially in real life too. <laughs> you know what I mean? In real so, life, that's, yeah, hundred percent too. That's another thing too is you see all these comments, but then you go in the real life and like. I had zero interactions like exactly. that right. yeah. at all. So like, exactly. what's going on there? Yeah, what's yeah. the disconnect? I'm exactly. telling you, it's just people yeah. that aren't, you know, doing probably what they want right. to you're do. You're bored. You're just like, yeah. you know, someone's doing good. You want to say something, but it's like, we need can't those take people. it personally. We need you know? those people. We yeah. need haters. 100%. I mean, you can't always have the most positive dude all the time, every day. It's not normal. Completely. So we need these little few little sprinkles of haters just to, <laughs> just to, to, to make sure. Yeah, 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 to make sure that, yeah, it keeps it, keeps it interesting. I like yeah, that. I love that. 100%. I love that. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. And again, I've said this before. If you ain't getting hated on, you ain't doing shit. Exactly. So continue. You know what I mean? <laughs> continue doing what you're doing. And obviously you said you had like probably 95, 95% positive and you get the, again, 5%. Yeah. Maybe a little more. Yeah. But other than that, fuck them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not even like negative. It's just like something like change your yeah. wheels or this or that. Right. Or they're, they're trying to tell you how to do it. Exactly. And you're like, man, I'm on day 50. Straight You don't up. need to tell yeah. me how to do it. <laughs> exactly. Anyway. Plus having it from the beginning into the end with that one board with the same wheels. Like, I think that's like... They're, you take more from that. I think you know people I mean? saw it, that at the end. Mm -hmm. like when I finished with it, they got it. But you know, right. throughout, it was just something I saw. I was like, no, it's going to be funny to see if I can make it the whole way, yeah. if, if it holds up. It like builds. I'm bombing the Appalachians, and like, is it going to give out? <laughs> Are you know, they going to fall like, apart? That's what makes it like fun. You know, it's oh fun, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Is that when you pull the camera then, out? Where you're like, oh my god, I got to film <laughs> this because I might eat yeah. shit right now. I'll be laughing because I'll be filming. I'm like, oh, people are going to be like cringing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. dude. I love it, man. Listen, Chad, thank you so much for coming Straight on the show. Up, thank you, guys. Really appreciate you, it. And, dude, congratulations on the journey and even what's to come, man. Yeah, thank you. I can't wait to see what's next. Yeah. You got to come back on the show and tell us about the next journey. Yes. 100%. Yeah? Yeah. And we got you. Whatever you need. We need Yeti stuff. We're yeah. going to keep you hydrated. Got this. Yeah, my yeah. next trip with this. We'll give you about five of those. We'll give you, make a belt. <laughs> we'll make a little Yeti belt for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's perfect. Definitely. Chad, thank you, brother. Oh, yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah, Appreciate thank you. it. Yeah.